no joke, only seriousness here on High Rollers D&D. There's no jokes, there's no comedy, there's no ridiculous introductions. What do you take us for? We're a serious D&D show. A bunch of clowns? <laughs> a bunch of clowns? Is that what you think we are? <laughs> do we make you laugh? <laughs> Am I a clown to you? Hello, welcome everybody. I'm Mark Sherlock Humes, your Dungeon Master. Uh, welcome back to... Dungeon lovely... Master! Dungeon Master! <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, and I'm joined by my lovely friends who just treat me so well and they just give me so much support You're great, and love. You're great, Mark. Thanks, um, <laughs> they are. <laughs> do, 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 do. We got Rian. <laughs> I forgot you put those sunglasses on. Nice. Chris Trot. Kim's back. Yay! Uh, like last Kim's week. Back last week. <laughs> Straight from the airplane. Oh, I was the here. other table. <laughs> on the other side, wow. we've got Tom and Katie, who's back. Katie's back. <laughs> Katie's back. <laughs> I'm like, Wait. sorry. I'm sorry. Back over here. Back over here. So, what the hell? I don't know. Man, listen, like. <laughs> I'm like 36, my brain's going. I'm 37! Yeah, well, <laughs> your brain's going too. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, that's it, uh, that's everyone's it. here. Well uh, We've got everyone. <laughs> We've made it. Welcome, we'd love to see you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, a couple of things to go through today um, before we jump into everything else. Uh, we have got a couple of quick announcements. Well, these aren't very quick announcements, actually. On Tuesday at 8 p.m. here on the High Rollers D&D channel, we're going to be doing another little sponsored one-shot for our good friends, Steamforge Games. Uh, Steamforge Games, they make Woo! amazing miniatures. Uh, we're going to be checking out one of the scenarios in their latest <laughs> Epic Encounters box set. They're doing a new Kickstarter called Local Legends. We'll give you more information about that on Tuesday. Come along and watch that. It's going to be a fun little two-hour sort of little mix of RP and combat, checking out their new uh, Local Legends uh, Kickstarter box as well. Um, and also, Steamforge Games, they make some they make some amazing miniatures. I've used a bunch of them. We've got a couple of their epic encounter boxes around. Um, and you're going to actually be seeing one of their old inca epic encounter miniatures, one of their big special fancy ones, used in a very big upcoming encounter. <coughs> Kalara. <coughs> uh, so, check that out. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's uh, I love their, their epic encounter series. They're really gorgeous miniatures. And they have really good value for money. You get like a bunch of cool stuff. So check They're them out. very cool. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. cool. Um, this is uh, just a quick one from me as well. Uh, this coming Friday at 10 p.m. UK time, I believe, on the DD Beyond Twitch channel, I will be playing in a very special charity tw level 20 one shot DM'd by Whoa. Mr. B. Dave Walters. Lovely Yay. Mr. B. Dave. Great, lovely, lovely man. Level 21. Um, Level 20. Uh, one, one shot. One shot. Oh yep. One shot. <laughs> okay. uh, and it's going to also have a bunch of other D&D folks in there as well. Um, and it's supporting Streaming for Survivors Pride Edition, which is an event raising money for sexual assault crisis centers. And given a lot of stuff going on, I think that's a pretty good cause uh, to be supporting right now. Um, as it's a special Pride event as well, I'm going to be getting all dolled up uh, so you can come and see me dressed up as well. Uh, <coughs> you can do all of that. Um, and then just another quick reminder, we've talked about it loads. Don't forget about TwitchCon. It's coming up real soon. Yeah, uh, yeah it is. Soon. 15th. Ah. 16th. Um, ah. Yep, get Zoom in. Um, all the information's on our Twitter, but yeah, we're going to be doing our live show. We've talked a bunch about it. Do make sure you watch it on Twitch. Come and give us support in chat. Um, and if you're going to be at the event, we can't wait to see you. Mm. Um, yeah. That's it. So a cut to a line, cause cut to a wide, because I don't know if anybody else has got anything that they need to, to mention. Oh, man, you can always support us over on Patreon or yeah. with your donations that we will read at the end of the episode. Your support means everything, and we love you for it. Nice. Thanks, Thomas. Uh, brilliant. Uh, well, if that's it, if there's nothing else to mention, quick glance around. I can't think of anything. Thank you, Chris Trout. Dun -dun. Let's do some dun-duns. Dun -dun. Let's go dun-duns. Clean intro. <laughs> oh. Oh. I feel like Sam did that on purpose because oh. there was three seconds left of my timer. And he cut to me. It's automated. It's all there. Okay, well, you might need to look in that because I'm sure there were three seconds left and it faded down. I was really Clean close. Clean intro. To <laughs>
<laughs> Welcome back to Eroes. Well done. Seeking to face the titan of life and death, Kalara. The champions of Eroes have arrived at the dark and sorrowful Grave Bloom Valley and descended to an abandoned guardian outpost, hoping to meet with a force they had sent to locate a place called Night Bloom Hold, a stronghold of the Holy Knights of Kalara. However, instead of their allies, the party were forced into a desperate battle to hold off waves of undead creatures. Pushed to their absolute limits, the champions succeeded in holding off the strange plant undead hybrids long enough for the Guardian Scouts to destroy something nearby, creating a diversion and then securing a safe exit to their second base of operations. Escorted by the Scouts, the battered and exhausted champions must now decide their next move and investigate what has happened here in the valley. And that's where we're gonna jump straight back in. So you guys finished fighting off, you succeeded in holding off the waves of undead long enough to buy these guardians time for whatever plan that they have enacted. Um, and now you are being led by two guardians and a force of about 18 sort of generic scouts um, uh, who are leading you to their secondary base camp. Okay. Um, Katie doesn't seem happy with me for some reason. What's that just... hit point number, Tom? You What's were that? defending and protecting in cool <laughs> ways. To be fair, I think pretty much everybody was on like less than 10% HP at the end. Um, well, it was yeah. a desperate one. I believe the want? names of the two guardians what that the are helping. How are you on? Did you do a heal? No, I got I got mega lay on hand. Did did? Did did? Oh. Yeah. Did. He did do a lot of healing though. He did a yeah. heal. Wouldn't do any more. But everyone, <laughs> no. do, not to not to steal the moment, but. Chris Trot would like to inform everything of somebody some notes he made last week. Oh. Gear shift and wayfinder. On the, yeah, the they two are the two guardians leading that led guardians. us out the pack. Yes. And also there were other guardians, of course, around uh -huh. that yeah. were camouflaged. Yes. Well done. Would you like me to uh, give you a red tick? Yeah, okay. thank you. Gold star. Oh. Gold star, Plus. smiley face. Uh, yeah, gear shift and wayfinder are two guardian scouts that are sort of leading this this band, right? The others, there are many other guardians here. There's about 20 of them in total. Um, but gear shift and wayfinder are the kind of leaders. Wayfinder has used a little bit of magic to help you uh, sneak away, um, and gear shift is kind of leading you. And uh, <clears throat> the Guardian Scouts, in solemn and almost fear-ridden silence, lead you through the thick jungle valley. In the perpetual, supernatural gloom, you can't make out much detail of the terrain you are led over. And even with dark vision, the sh blending shades of grey make it difficult to pick out details or really understand where you're going. However, you eventually hear the sound of rushing, crashing water that would imply some sort of waterfall or plunge pool nearby. Wayfinder uh, approaches you. Uh, wait here a moment, champions. I must disable the traps and alarms we've set up. Uh, please, just a moment, uh, before they vanish, uh, returning a few moments later to indicate that the path is safe. Uh, you are led on uh, a very deliberate path, uh, and you come to the side of a plunge pool beneath a rocky outcropping where the river breaks away. Dug beneath this outcropping are small cubbies and caves, Pieces of ripped up tent and cloth smeared with mud and covered in plants and foliage have been used to help camouflage the caves. Gear shift will sort of give some orders to the other guardians around to secure the sort of perimeter. Um, and then, uh, yeah, gives a moment of silence, almost as if waiting, expecting questions or instructions. Um, uh, the, these traps that you've set up, what exactly are we looking for? Just in case uh, we stumble upon some. The I, Wayfinder will say, I've, they lead into the camp. They are mainly to alert us if anything comes nearby, uh, those skeletal creatures. Uh, pretty simple, primitive affairs. Pit traps, uh, trip wires. Okay, okay. They are not, uh, I, I do not think that you would fail to spot them, uh, champions. They are, th these creatures, as you saw, they are determined. They possess a, a cunning, but they, uh, I don't think that they would recognize a, a trap of that nature. Uh, we've used them to, to sort of defend this position before and other positions as well. Um, I must go. I, uh, if you have questions, please speak with Gearshift. 
Um, they are better at this than, than I am. Um, Wayfinder, by the way, uh, very kind of thin, lithe-looking guardian. They actually have quite a large head for their body, and they have two sets of eyes on either side, almost like a bird's head, where they have like eyes on the sides, mm -hmm. allowing them to sort of see uh, in a better field of vision. Uh, and their legs are, is it dig digitrade, where they're sort of like the backwards kind of legs? Um, and so they kind of squawk off, and they have an echo that's uh, permanently out with them as well. Um, but they, they seem kind of like shifty and a little bit awkward in social sort of answering questions and things, and they skulk off. Um, kind of disappearing into the sort of foliage. Uh, gear shift is much more um, humanoid, much more like sentry. Um, they are covered in sort of like metal and stone armor, but they have like shades of pink almost uh, hidden beneath this rudimentary camouflage, having smeared themselves in like mud and moss and vines to help kind of themselves blend in. Um, and they kind of look around um, a little bit uncertain. Uh, you don't get the impression that this is somebody who is used to leading other people, um, but they have sort of been placed in charge, at least temporarily. Um, and Gift Shift awkwardly is like, Sentinel Prime, um, I am very glad that you are here, champions. Things have not been good the last few weeks. Whilst this is going on, can I messenger ring Araya? Yep. Just to update her on the situation, because I know she was on standby, the whole crew was like mm -hmm. blasting. Uh, that we managed to escape the camp and that we are now with Guardians. Okay. Yeah, you get a message back from Araya. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, both Penny and Lookout lost track of you in the deep foliage. We can't penetrate this gloom or the thick canopy here. I'm keeping the Storm Chaser above at a high altitude. You'll need to give us a signal where you are and uh, give us a way to come and find you because I don't know if we can. Uh, we want to be able to spot you. So find something bright and uh, find a place of elevated position if you can, or somewhere where with a clearing at least. Um, and we'll try and get to you as best as fast as we can. But it may take some time if you need a quick exit. Unless, of course, Miss Nova has her teleport magic and things like that. Obviously, that will be more secure. I can't hear this. No. <laughs> um, yeah. But anybody with a message ring does. I'm just nodding at Nova. <laughs> no. I think it's literally Lucius Sentry and Lucius. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, so Gear Shifter kind of like awkwardly is like looking around. Um, the tw the other Guardians that were with you, the ones that kind of helped you sort of shoot all the undead and things like that, it's very obvious. I'm not even going to have checks or anything like that. Like the morale is low, very low. Uh, they are very scared. Any noise, like they hear a, tw a twig snap in the distance, they're jumpy and they're like pointing their, their weapons in that direction. Um, that's also far less than what there should be here. You know that the, the forces that you sent here was more about 40. This is about half the number that you, you sent here. I'm going to messenger ring sentry. Okay. Uh, these guardians, um, they don't look too good right now. Maybe they could do with the prime, you know, to give them a little pep. Maybe they could, but maybe they should. Maybe they could do with leaving as well. That's an option. We could evacuate some of them, perhaps. I don't. We we struggled just back there. I, I don't know how how they're holding up like this. It's incredible. Uh, whilst you guys are having that conversation, Quill, one thing you'll notice uh, being the most perceptive uh, many In fact, Ayla probably would as well, because Ayla's kind of used to what? dealing with these environments. Um, this is more that Ayla's like a trained hunter and like stalker of like woodland terrain and like wouldn't be able to tell some of the camouflage and stuff. Okay. Um, My zone. Deep in the caves uh, behind this kind of like plunge pool, um, you see kind of peeking through the these kind of camouflage cloths and stuff, there's maybe like. 10 guardians laying on the ground uh, sort of in the back of a cave and another guardian is kind of like walking amongst them and sort of checking on them. Um, they don't appear to be... They're moving, they're alive, but they do not appear to be in a good way. Hard to tell with a guardian. <laughs> yeah, they, you can see that like they're like... They do, because guardians don't necessarily breathe, but yeah. like you can see little movements and things like that that indicate they're not dead dead. Um, there's a little bit of dim light coming from their matrixes and things like that. Um, but yeah, they're, that is, they're kind of tucked away in the back of this cave, and you notice the other guardians are keeping a pretty big distance from them. Um, okay, I think if I can see like Lucius and Sentry, yeah, they're doing, guess, they're doing the messenger ring the, face. Yeah, I mean it's hard to tell again with Sentry like blank face, but <laughs> Lucius um, is doing tell. that. Yeah, he's doing the cross-eyed look. Yeah, <laughs> um, uh, then I'll sort of move forward and uh, say uh, you've done very well to keep yourself hidden from these creatures. I see you're covered in 
mud and totally leaves. Shift this is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you're covered in mud and, and leaves and things. I mean, is that proven to dissuade them? Is there anything we could adopt to to blend in better? Not with the um, the, the the camouflage is not for the undead creatures. Uh, it does help against them. Uh, the, the the sort of plant skeletons. Um, they do. They have some senses. If you get too close to them, the camouflage won't help. They, they have the ability to sense uh, things around them, especially if there are lots of them. Um, they share a sort of intellect, we believe. They, they can see through each other's eyes, hear through each other's ears, um, and they possess a, a heightened sense of smell and, and things like that. The camouflage doesn't really help if you get too close. The camouflage is for something else. Uh, and when she says that, like, gear shift is like, like looking around, like, looks scared. A another undead creature, or...? We don't know. Um, we've been calling it the Stalker. Uh, uh, Commander Hotshot has more answers, but it is the reason that we had to abandon the first outpost, and it is why s uh, we are half as many as we once were. Uh, wh what kind of creature is this? We don't know. It, it began maybe a, a few days after we sent Dowser and Stave to report to you in Horizon. Uh, eh. At first we thought it was patrols being uh, taken out by those undead creatures or, or the plant life here. But more began disappearing. Uh, patrols, sentries, one, two at a time. Um, we found one of their bodies. Uh, we think that we may have caught the stalker before it managed to take them away. Uh, the bodies, we've never seen anything like it. Um, it has the ability to poison guardians something that we are naturally resistant to. Uh, diseases that normally would not affect us, a rot of sorts that affects our, our living matter. Um, then it attacked in force with large amounts of those undead creatures on the outpost, and that is where most of, and she points, Gearshift kind of points back to the cave, several of us were injured and have become infected. Uh, a disease, we believe. We only have one medic remaining. She is attending to them as best she can. Maybe I can help in some way. Um, Be maybe careful. we can we, talk to them. To we see know what they saw. We know that this disease is contagious amongst guardians, at least. Uh, but you should be wary. Contagious. Okay. Um, well, we don't want you getting a century. Okay. So, how how, how do is there, how do we stop this? Is there a way we can? Is there an antidote? Is there? Vines is our only medic who is still with us. Um, many of the others were. I almost feel that the stalker targeted them specifically to prevent them from being able to heal us. Vines managed to get away. Vines does not look like a medic. Um, Vines has determined that uh, nothing that she can do can heal them. Uh, it is beyond her ability. Uh, but perhaps you can. You are Sentinel Prime and, and the champions of Erois. Uh, if anyone can, it, it is you. Uh, oh, we can try our very best. Um... Commander Hotshot um, will hopefully return soon. Uh, they were traveling some distance away, perhaps an hour to, uh, and they should rejoin us shortly. Uh, I understand that you are all tired. We do not have food, uh, or, and we do not need water and the like, but uh, if you need to rest, we can set up, um, we can sort of move some things around and provide you an opportunity to try and try and get some rest. That would be much appreciated. Uh, how, how is... How is Vines managing to hold off this disease? She, she is not really. She is making them comfortable <clears throat> and keeping them from deteriorating, but uh, it is sort of a losing battle. Right. Are there any symptoms we should look out for? Uh, yes. Uh, in us, it has... I do not know how it would affect other living matters, but for Guardians, um, this sickness, uh, it creates uh, almost a sense of nausea, um, great pain when moving or, or trying to perform any physical activity, um, and also a sort of delirious weakness. Uh, the, the individuals are no longer able to stand on their own or, or, or function. Um, but uh, apart from that, that she, Vines does not know any more than that. Okay, we'll keep an eye out. So if any of you feel any of those things, please let let each other know. Well, I start to feel woozy right now, but okay. I, 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 I'm water? a bit of a hypochondriac, I'll okay. be honest. Keep breathing, breathing, big breath. <laughs> In, out, we'll focus on your breathing. I'm okay. focusing too much on my no, breathing. No, 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 focus too much, focus too much. Just concentrate, just breathe. We'll be okay, we'll be okay. 
the guardians, as Lucius is kind of freaking mm-hmm. out, that's spreading to the guardians. Like yeah. they're they're like seeing these champions, the people that they've been waiting for, freaking out, and like like a couple of them are like. And guardians aren't, you know, guardians are dedicated to a purpose, but you can see clearly that most of these they're not soldiers. Like they are scouts in the fact that they were probably once pathfinders or you know guides, survivalists. They're not soldiers and warriors. They have weapons and they know how to use them, but they're not seasoned mm-hmm. soldiers. Um, Lucius! Lucius! Stop, you need to, look, look, you need to be brave. You need to, come, come on, you're, you're scaring them. Thank you, Sentry. You always know how to solve every situation. You're so powerful and strong, thank you. Make a, um, it's not really deception, make a persuasion check. Lucius. That's an eight, plus my charisma. I mean, you've got, well, it's your persuasion bonus, like, yeah. Apologies, I have a different thing. Get that uh, character sheet up, son. Get plus 10, 18. 18. Yeah. 18 well, enough where, like, <laughs> it's convincing enough that the Guardians kind of do seem to, like, relax a little bit. They're not, like, comforted, but they're not freaking, like, they can yeah. see that Lucius is feeling a bit mm-hmm. more confident with Sentinel Prime around, and Sentinel Prime is having an effect of just being here. Um, but it's not looking good. Hmm. <laughs> Ayla is probably like covered in like I think like because especially because you weren't here, Katie. Like, like it, it's it's not like you took one big wound. Like Ayla is covered in like small nicks and cuts and bruises, and is just like soaked in blood. Like, <laughs> like it is just Standard. like a d- death by a thousand cuts, right? Like you know you were just sort of bled dry by these guys. So probably feeling a little tired, uh, strangely, uh, something you're not quite used to. But um, yeah, so. What would anybody, anything anybody would like to do? Um, yeah, I mean, if these uh, injured guardians uh, saw this stalker almost directly or survived an attack from the stalker, among other undead mm-hmm. creatures, then I feel like it's definitely worth going over to talk to them to try and figure out what this thing is. Mm-hmm. Um, but I am wary of this disease we'll that they this, have. This, yeah. um, I, I mean, I am low on spell slots as well, but... Well, any sort of examination, you're going to have to get close, like, as in within five feet, to examine them and sort of check their symptoms and things like that. Um, mm. Any spell that requires touch, etc. I think it might be worth finding vines and seeing if... Or if anyone that... Vines is in there. Oh, vines is yeah, in vines oh. is in there. Could Tian mean, Gong? Yeah, yeah I, was gonna, I was gonna say, if you want to be cautious, I could Tian, Tian Gong in and we can do that whole consciousness thing, you know, like we did in the war room. You could sense. use your little eye thing, you know? Okay, eye. Just try not to that freak thing. them out. Yeah, is this gonna look good in front of... Yeah, I don't think that would be bad. Like, it's an arcane knight would just be like, I think that they would actually, it's like Quill's clearly trying to do something. Like, the Guardians maybe don't they exactly know the see nature it, of it. Yeah. Be fair. yeah, if it's invisible, they can't see it, so. We're also protecting Sentinel Prime. Um, it's probably worth asking the questions of were any of them physically interacting with the stalker or did they have some sort of particles in the air that they in- <clears throat> ingested or went into their bodies in some way? Things like that. Is it contact or is it phlegmy? Alternatively, I mean, I haven't tried it, but maybe I could use my eye through the eye. I eye, eye through eye? Storm eye through arcane eye. What does that mean? You know, if I just see the Guardian with the Arcane Eye, then, and then the use question. the Storm Eye to try to figure out what it was, or even determine what this Stalker is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is a headache one of the symptoms? No, <laughs> maybe. I've suddenly got one. <laughs> um, it might work. I'll, I'll be able to, I mean, I technically could just do it right now, actually. But you know. I think what's important is keeping Sentry away from the current victims of this disease. Mm-hmm. Um, that doesn't help anybody if she gets infected. And we'll try and get some rest here. They've got a shelter that we can use. Yeah, I mean, shelter is a very loose word, but it, this this is clearly being put together in desperation. Well, we've got our bed rolls and things, our explorers packs. If you do, yeah. I don't know if you actually have those in your entries. <laughs> right? We've if you don't them. have like things like rations and bed rolls and stuff like that, then you don't have them. So. Oh, I do. I've got a bed roll. I don't have any rations. <laughs> no. I've got a bed roll. Oh, oh yeah, because I got a two-person tent. I got. One day of rest. You have a two person. No, I've got four. two person. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like nice. a fold out. Yeah. yeah, pop up. I've got a um, tent too. Two person tent. 
Yeah, yeah, I think I think those. You, I think you guys had those from like yeah, when you did. were like in that's Rose right. Hall. Yeah. I think yeah. you bought a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And I think because I shared with um, Ayla. Yeah, yeah, I got two men ten. That's fine. Yeah, I okay. carried it. I mean, a tent's like gonna take time to set up, and like, yeah, I mean, maybe you'll need it if you're gonna take a long rest here. But um, yeah, for sure, like things like rations and water skins and stuff. Um, I'm assuming that you would have filled those up on the airship. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It makes sense. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna nickel and dime you on that kind of stuff. <laughs> I mean, Sentry, you don't need to eat or drink anyway, so you're fine. Yeah. Um, all right. So, what are you doing with these infected guys? Do you uh, want to yeah. send the RK9 in? Do you, you gonna send Tian Gong in? Tian Gong in. I can, I can RK9 follow you. Ooh. One of the last few spells I have left. Ooh. The starry, there is. <laughs> starry spatial form of Tian Gong. They appear. Uh, and uh, yeah, they just look like, and mentally, you know, like you share a mind. So mm -hmm. yeah, Tiangong will make their way into this kind of like little cave. Um, uh, and do you cast Arcane Eye? I cast Arcane Eye. Right. So, uh, so Quill's yeah. attention is focused through. So Quill and Nova, uh, as you enter, uh, you do see, yeah, there's about 10 guardians all just laying on the floor, no bed rolls or like sheets, they don't need them. Um, and yeah, they look in very bad shape. None of them are co coherent. None of them can speak or talk. They are just like mm -hmm. deliriously babbling and sort of like, you know, it groaning, moaning in pain. The first thing you notice without necessarily needing to make a check is they have wounds. Um, Guardians can like take damage, like their stone armor can be broken and their natural parts, like the vines and the foliage that's kind of makes up their sort of like inner muscles and workings can get damaged and they are bleeding like a sap-like residue, and it's not been stopped. Like, they've been had, like, bandages, like, rough bandages. Guardians don't really need those kind of things normally, um, but Vines has attempted to, like, bandage them up with what they can, and it's leaking through. Um, there's also a very foul, putrid smell. Uh, Tiangong's really the only one. The Arcane Eye yeah. won't pick up on this, but Tiangong can tell that there is this smell of rot and death in the air. Um, Vines immediately turns to Tiangong, and Vines is a very lithe, feminine-looking uh, guardian, um, but they almost have no stone and metal parts. They have like a very small stone chest plate and just enough to kind of keep their natural-looking parts together, um, but their limbs almost are elongated by these incredibly long vine-like arms, um, and they have long vine-like dreadlocks kind of like pouring down the back of their head and then just a single uh, eye. Uh, which is almost made more of wood than it is of stone and metal. Um, and uh, they sort of look in surprise and sort of glance past Tiangong at the outside and sort of seem to understand that, you know, the, who they are and what's going on. Um, and we'll say, oh, yes, uh, hello. Um, I think that it is safe for you if I understand that you are not a real, well, you are real, but you're not a living being-esque. Um, Greetings, Medic Guardian. Do not be disturbed. We are Tiangong. We are safe to all conditions. Well, that's good. Um, I hope I, if you can relay information. I... Vines just gestures to the injured, like, I, I'm doing what I can, but I, I've never encountered anything like this. I, I don't know how to help. Um, yes, uh, any, any help that you can provide, please. Uh, they are suffering quite greatly. Um... Were the infected guardians you can just talk like him. <laughs> did they uh, did they come down with this after being attacked by the stalker? Yes, uh, the attack on the outpost. Um, we don't. We didn't see it. Uh, we don't know exactly what happened, but uh, they were struck by something, um, and they took injuries. Um, and then when we we after a few moments when we escaped, they began to show signs of the weakness, uh, delirium, nausea, weakness. Uh, and uh, by the time we found somewhere safe, uh, they were they were already gone. Um, any sort of pain or movement um, causes them to fall into a, a into a, a stupor, a torpor. Uh, it's very difficult to rouse them out of it. Um, and I can't stop their their fluids. They aren't coagulating. It's it's not stopping. Uh, I'm trying what I can, but they are slowly bleeding away of their life force. Is there any sign that the infection can be transmitted via airborne? We think so. Um, one of the guardians, uh, she points to one at the back, they weren't injured in the attack, but they, they were helping carry one of the injured ones in here, and then they fell sick. Um, How are you not sick? Uh, I, I don't know. It may be part of my, my guardian construction. I, I don't know what it is, but I, I don't seem to have been affected by it. 
You said that vines has stone, a stone breastplate, yeah. but it's mostly wood and vine. Mostly plant-like matter, yeah. yeah. But and there's nothing the, really different about them and yeah. these other guardians. Like there's nothing really like sure. that would that would stand out. Like yeah. they're all made of yeah. wood or uh, metal or something like. Yeah, that. no, yeah. They're, they're, they're all guardians, but yeah. yeah, it's kind of unclear why. It, it could simply be. That Vines' own natural constitution has resisted whatever it was. Like, mm. same like you guys, you know, make saving throws, right? Like, maybe that somehow she's just been strong enough to resist whatever it is and is now immune to whatever effect is in place. Mm. Um, that's, I don't think you guys have encountered magical poisons and diseases. That That is a very reasonable, like, out of game slash in game. Ex, you know, explanation that her natural constitution has enabled her to avoid the effect. Um, any other details, like Vines, that is all the information Vines has. Like, I mean, you can ask questions and I'll try and answer them, but like, she's not really gonna be able to give you anything useful. Mm -hmm. What you can do is anybody can make a medicine check. Yeah, uh, anybody who's I'm present. Gonna be, I'm gonna be I'll looking at over the bodies and yeah. looking at the wounds and whatever else to try and... Yeah, and I'm assuming that like, Quill, because you can't interact with the bodies, like if you need them to be turned over or like examine something closer, you can ask n n like Nova and then Nova can have Tiangong like move them mm. for them. Because Tiangong's physical, right? They can actually do stuff, so... Yeah. Cool. Um, cool, so just medicine. Yep, you can both cool. make medicine checks if Seven. you like. Seven. Seven. Sixteen. Sixteen. On a sixteen. Uh, yeah, on a sixteen. You, Quill, uh, having read uh, and sort of understood things, whether through your teachings of Hesper or growing up as a messenger, you know, acolyte, um, you can obviously tell that, yeah, this is a disease. This isn't just a poison. They have also been poisoned. Their body shows signs. And normally, guardians are resistant to poison. Mm -hmm. This poison is so venomous, it overrid that. Uh, and they are, they it's it, as if they were human beings, like it's, it's afflicted them. The disease appears to be a variant of something that you've read of called slimy doom. Um, now in human living creatures, that basically prevents the blood coagulating and also causes great amounts of pain uh, and causes their sort of like body to slowly decompose from within. Um, okay. In the Guardians, it's basically having the same effect, but on their sort of like plant-like fluids, basically what is their blood. Um, and mm. it's do, basically doing the same thing. It is magical in nature, this disease. This is a magical disease. Um, and yeah, without treatment, they they are gonna suffer and then probably die. Um, they are slimy doomed. Yeah. Um, but apart from that, that, that is gonna be a the most information you can really pull out of this. But if it is a magical one, mm -hmm. a magical disease, I mean, I don't... You do think it can be cured, like with magic, like with magic dispelled? spells? Uh, not dispelling, no. Right, okay. It would need to be any kind of, like, there are spells like cure disease, like centuries lay on hands, greater restoration, all of that stuff will stuff. will cure it. I mean, lay on hands, like, doesn't, like, is it like, oh, I don't know if you've got anything left, century, so... I've used it all out. Yeah, so like five points of lay on hands can cure a poison or a disease, and that would work on this. Um, so uh, the same with me, I guess. Mm -hmm. I can remove a magical effect when I heal. It's not a magical effect. This yeah. is a disease. It's, a magic. Okay. it's magic in nature, in in origin, but right. it's not an effect. Magical effects would be things like spells that have been cast on somebody, or you know, uh, a buff from a potion or something like that. Sure, I don't think I have cure disease. Well, probably don't. It's not a super common thing to use. Mm. Um, <clears throat> Might be worth swapping that or any. No, I mean I don't have it at all. It will be on your cleric prepared list, I'm sure. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not. I think it's called like um, something else. It might be called like. It might even. I don't know. I'll look it up. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> that might be an old spell I'm thinking of. There used to be an old spell called cure disease, but. Uh, yeah, I can detect it, but that's about it. Uh, and even then, not right now. Um, okay, uh, but it, knowing that it is a, like, if I can identify. That it is lesser restoration would remove it. Lesser restoration. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. If I if I know that it is a extremely venomous thing, so venomous that it is affecting the guardians. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will affect living creatures. It will affect living mm -hmm. creatures. Yeah. Um, and therefore but spread to living creatures. You don't think it's actually airborne contagious. So that other guardian probably got afflicted with by it without realizing it. Like or, touching. Yeah, something. or like, yeah. Like you don't think it's airborne. It might be, yeah, it might be infectious mm. by touch, but not by Like if by they maybe airborne. carried a friend yeah. or something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, if I if I asked Nova to tell Tiang Gong to ask uh, Vine, like, you know, have you had any contact with the Guardians, like, phys physical contact, touching them, whatever else? Uh, Vines has. <coughs> Vines will say, yes, I, I have touched them, I bandaged some of their wounds and things like that, but I, I and her Vines, like, her hands, like, grow out like Vines. Um, and then it seems that when they get so long, they actually just break off 
and that might be why it's like the vines that touch it and then it doesn't go back to her. She actually breaks them off and then they decompose. Like she's almost like rows her fingers out and then lifts them up and then drops and then the vines on the floor. Floor. I am very satisfied with that answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Um, okay. Um, I, I want to ask the Eye of the Storm. Okay. Um, what was the stalker that attacked these guardians? Okay. Um, I mean, stalker obviously is a yeah. name that they've given yeah, this yeah. thing. So, but so yeah, your question is, what was the stalker that attacked these guardians? Yeah. What is? And, uh, what what is, is? Yeah. What is? What is the stalker that attacked these guardians? Yeah. And I suppose, I mean. While I'm telepathically yeah. looking through the eye, yeah. it's going to be a very brief answer because that of what is is just going to show you what they what they are. Mm. It's not going to give you much That's, more than that. I mean, good enough, <coughs> I suppose. Even if it's just an image, <laughs> the eye clouds, your vision turns to smoky white, and then rushes and almost rewinding through time, uh, you see the outpost where you yourselves fought off the undead horde. But now it is filled with guardians who are making ready for your arrival. Um, beginning to prepare themselves, almost uh, anticipating for when you will hopefully come uh, to alleviate them. <clears throat> the vision shifts in time as quickly the outpost comes under attack. You don't see the details of it. Instead, your vision is pulled uh, deep into the tree line where a pair of guardians, uh, two that you are looking at currently, were basically engaged in a patrol as the attack happened. They rush back towards the outpost, but before they can reach there, there is a flash of metal and movement in the tree line, uh, and then they fall down. Your vision rushes to the tree line, the origin of whatever just happened, whether it was a spell or you're not even sure what it was, like some sort of attack of some form uh, rushes, and you see, uh, at first, nothing. It just looks like the foliage. It just looks like the jungle. And then you see the outline of a cloak draped in moss and vines and mud and leaves. You see a suit of armor uh, covered in the same moss and mold and growths and fungus kind of spread over the armor, blending in with the foliage around it. But just a slit uh, through a kind of like daunted hooded helm um, and a face mask, you see a pair of eyes and the rough shape of elven ears kind of sticking through the hood uh, mm, okay. as you see a humanoid, certainly looks elven figure, um, watching, uh, come almost invisible in the natural terrain, uh, camouflaged against it. Invisible <laughs> unless the eye of the storm isn't, you know, <laughs> pinpointing exactly that Yeah, thing. exactly that. I mean, like, even then, this isn't, like, magical camouflage. This is just, like, they are covered in, like, moss and fungus and growths and plants, and then they're also wearing, like, dark green cloak that has been purposely painted to be camouflaged. And probably um, some magical <coughs> yeah. like, passport trace, stuff like that. Yeah, and then, yeah, you just see this pair of eyes, but, yeah, looking at the eyes, the almond elf-like shape to them, the elven ears, like, you just... Like basically pushing the hood ever so slightly that you can sort of see their vague outline. Um, but not a high elf. This is a wild elf um, of some form. Okay. Oh, God. And that's, that's, that is the, the answer, the question answered. Yeah. So the vision ends. Cool. Um, I think I would like to usher champions away. Uh, yeah, you can have a huddle. Gear shift from the will guys. be like, yes, uh, of course, I, I will let you know if, if Commander Hotshot returns um, or if we hear word, uh, we will continue monitoring and for any danger. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Um, right, right up, guys. <laughs> What's up? Okay. Uh, well, good news, bad news. Or bad news told in a good way. Or good news, bad in bad way. Bad, then good. Bad, then good. Okay, bad news. I uh, have identified what that stalker might be. Um, and I believe it is a wild elf, uh, cloaked in leaves and moss and vine and almost indistinguishable from the trees and bush around us. Wild elf? Yes, uh, not an undead um, creature, not 
could have been undead. You only saw their eyes. Like they, okay. they're not like a ghoul, like a skeleton, but they mm. could be like a higher form of undead. They could also just be a living creature. Okay, you, um, you literally like saw like this. Yeah, I, I, I saw just their eyes. They could be undead, uh, but definitely a wild elf. Um, so there could be a camp, a wild elf camp nearby, maybe. Possibly, but uh, like like Gershif said, they they are working with the undead to fight the guardians. But so. not part of the the hive, as we call it. It's working independently. Potentially so, connected in some way, but I, I don't know. All I know is that it was unlike the rest of the things that attacked, and, and the main thing is they were very heavily disguised and, and almost impossible to spot. And Did you see any black roses or flowers on them? I don't want to shortchange you on using your cool vision power. Yes. Yes, you yeah. would have just about seen like maybe dis like part of the foliage around them and things like that. Um, maybe somewhere on like their chest piece. Uh, overgrown with the sort of moss and the fungus and the mold, there is the, the symbol of, a, of a, a lantern and a black rose. Okay. Also, the vision I got was Good enough. I don't feel shortchanged at all. No, no, no. But like, like, I, yeah, like you ask what it is, and that would be that. What Lucius just asked you would technically be part of that answer. So, um, I, somewhere deep in the armor, yes. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there was something in there. So an agent of Galar. Yes, I believe so. Um, but so in one that of case, the knights. well. Yeah, did it look reminiscent of one of the knights? It's hard to tell. It was covered entirely in, in this disguise. Well, I say disguise, camouflage. Um, I certainly didn't see, like, bulky plate armor or anything like that. If, if it was one of the knights, then it's uh, very, very different to the ones we've seen before. But also, I thought they showed no interest in guardians because they don't have the life force that humans and elves and dwarves do. Unless the regular knights are taking care of that side and they've found a way to affect guardians now. That's true, with a disease. To make them seem that they have the same and can pull the same energy from them. Hmm. i got a really stupid question. Sure. Yeah, I mean, questions, make checks if you guys want to confirm, like, you know... This is more... Make knowledge make checks and stuff. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, always with P. <laughs> <laughs> this is more Kim's and Mark about sure. D&D. Yeah. Celestials look like angels, right? They can do. Celestials can also look like... Wild uh, elves? They, well, I mean, they could do. They can... Some some celestials... I mean, make a, make a, make a religion check for me. Um, they always glowy. <laughs> well, I mean, this this is what I'm going to... <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, I have a plus nine to religion. Uh -huh. I rolled a one. Of course you did. You need to burn that dice. Get one of the dice prisons yeah, and put it in there and get rid of it. this? Uh, okay. This is our high roll it is. Yeah, yeah, don't roll that one anymore, because you've rolled so many nat ones in the last yeah. few weeks. I'm just going to roll again just to see, like... No, that would have been yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, listen, there, there's some detail, like, Nova's very learned, and you have Tiangong's knowledge, right? So you're going to get some info, but that role was more to see, like, the depth of that knowledge and how good the symbiotic link is. <clears throat> Tiangong will tell you, yeah, see, Celestials can look like, they can shape change. Um, also, some Celestials, like, that you've never encountered on a Rois that Tiangong knew of, um, they can sometimes appear like a giant ball of light, or a pyramid, or... Uh, uh, seven wings attached to a giant eyeball. Like celestials can, like, <laughs> like you can have biblical angels Biblically and like Neon accurate. Genesis Evangelion angels, yeah. and then you can have the like winged beautiful humanoids. Yeah, yeah. Um, in all forms. Yeah, they can come in all forms, right? All are welcome. So they can be. Generally, they they do have um, some sort of otherworldly appearance or supernatural power. Like they will glow. They will have a light about them. Something like that. Um, whether or not this creature is one, that is unfortunately, by, by Quill's description, you would have no idea. It could be, it might not be. Mm. The, 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 there could be a chance it's that celestial we were told about. They can, Tiangong says they can shapeshift. Do they glow? I imagine that wouldn't be grey if they were camouflaged. No, no glow. Um, no, if anything, the exact opposite of a glow. They just blended in perfectly. Um, Somebody who knows the area very well. I suppose so. The um, wild elves would do. Yeah. They can. They they hunt. That's what they do to survive. That they're perfect for that kind of thing. Well, they might have. Clara, that is, might have 
utilized a wild elf that was local to the area and their knowledge, perhaps in undeath, to mm-hmm. make them an agent. Could be. Could be. I have a guardian question. Yeah, of course, yeah. Absolutely, it's what we're here for. So, if the guardians are infected, mm. does that infection spread to the Matrix? That's a great question, and unfortunately, I mean, you can mm. roll, roll a... Oh, this would just... I'd just say just roll wisdom for a century. This is just is. d20 plus wisdom. If there's anything I saw with the arcane eye, I guess. Fifteen. But... <sighs> kind of focusing for a moment, Sentry, and you think. And although it's not a direct question to Root, you sense trepidation mm-hmm. in the Matrix. Ooh. The souls within the Matrix, having he- heard through your eye, you know, having seen what you've seen and heard what you've heard, Root and the other Guardians are wary that if you were to pull their their current, if their spirits are currently infected, now it depends on the nature of this disease. Mm. If this magical disease also affects their soul in some way, and you pull their soul into the matrix, yes, it could potentially infect everyone in within it. Holy shit! Um, oh God. If the if the disease is purely physical, um, then their souls should be safe. You have no way of knowing. Uh, based on like, and Quill's already examined them. Yeah. Like, you would need to use magic. other magic or like divination to try and determine if their souls have been affected. Maybe no touchy. Maybe just yeah, no, no touchy for I, now. I think I'll stay clear. I think. I'm assuming while you guys are conversing but not doing stuff like casting spells, is the intention that you're like starting a long rest or a short rest or something here? Yes, this is Bedding when down. we're setting up our two person Trying to put like a little camp down to get a long rest. Okay. Lucius is padding in a circle, uh-huh. trying to soften the ground. The ground is actually pretty soft already. Um, this is not hard ground. There is a sponginess to the earth here. Um, Although there is this kind of smell of rot from the infected and and the pool itself doesn't smell the freshest, everything is verdant and very full of life uh, in a very strange way. Uh, despite the, the gloom. Yeah, despite the darkness, it's almost like, yeah, everything's kind of vibrant and thriving, but in a, like, it's swollen and bloated kind of way. kind of swampy? Yeah, there's an element of it, although the... It gra- was yeah. usually pretty swampy, though, anyway. Yeah, it was. It's like a jungle, so it's kind yeah. of got that humid environment. But yeah, there is, there is like, yeah, it's very vibrant. Like you, do, it's not like anything's rotting on, you know, turning like withering or anything here. Like it's, you know, um, but it's definitely there's something off-putting about the about the environment and the land. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely setting up. All right. To sleep. Yeah. Or trance. I think I'm I'm looking around a lot. It's hard for me to not kind of feel like the rest of the guardians now. Now that I've seen the thing. Mm-hmm. And I've seen how well it can disguise itself. Yeah. I'm f- hearing a click in the distance, and I'm looking at it, trying to determine oh, I mean, the shape. That's thing. a good question. Like, I guess, like, I mean, if you're resting, you're not really able to keep a close watch on the outer perimeters. Like, are you guys going to rely on the guardians to keep watch, or is like, are you guys going to set a watch? Or they have survived this shifts. long, but should probably take shifts. If it's something, okay. it's inevitable we're going to be intact. Okay. Who's <laughs> feeling the freshest right now? Sentry. Lie down. <laughs> Are you sure I can? You lie look. Down? I mean, resplendent, of course, but oh, you've you taken a beating. Seven. Oh, one more than me then. <laughs> I'm a lie down. Sentry did technically already go down once, though. So, yeah. Uh, but yes, I think like Ayla and Sentry both. Will's look looking okay. Out. I'm looking good, but I need eight hours. True. I only Shit. need four. I only need four. But. After four well, hours, like me and Nova well, don't forget, rest. you only need four hours of like deep power. A long rest is always eight hours. Like it I'll just means that first. like the trance for the elves means that they only have to be out unconscious for four hours. They still have to spend four hours in light activity, which right. can count as keeping watch. Yes, you can keep activity. watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But lazily, can you just have uh, Tiangong keep watch while you have a full rest? You can. Oh Tian- wow! Tiangong can absolutely. Tiangong, like, like they don't have stats, but I would say that they are aware. They're probably not going to have a bonus to things like perception checks, but they're conscious. Be a they can just be a- around. Technically, the avatar has my stats. Oh, does it say that on the oh, on the somewhere. on the echo? If it says that, then then it uses your Manifest stats. Manifest echo. Your echo is twenty AC, one hit point, immunity to all conditions. If it has to make a saving throw, it uses your saving throw bonus. Same size, but okay. Then I'd say the same would apply for its skills. Then Tiangong has your skill bonuses, ability check bonuses. Forever, I think. Once, once manifested, until it's destroyed. Until it gets destroyed, or it's just very powerful. 
or if they're in thirty some ways, like this, yeah. in this particular instance, oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. great. But. Or if they're yeah, thirty foot away from me, yeah. over thirty foot away. Okay. From me. Oh right, do they have to stay in the they certain range? Have to stay range? within range. Yeah, oh. the two are connected. Well, that's good. All right. Well, I asked, uh, and it's good to know. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, <laughs> after two hours. Oh, okay. Uh, so not even a short rest. Oh, well, short rest is one hour, one but hour. Oh, right. you guys, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. After about two hours, you hear commotion. Not the panic signs of combat, um, but the sound of somebody returning. Um, and you begin to hear a another female guardian kind of speaking um, as they return, um, and you begin to hear them issuing orders. Uh, Gear shift, I want you to prepare everyone to move. Uh, Wayfinder with me, we need, to find we need to speak with the guardians now. Where are the champions now? Where are they? Um, and Wayfinder's like, this, this way, Hutchun. Uh, this way, Commander. Um, and after, uh, within a few moments, uh, you see a tall, lithe, feminine guardian, uh, very sleekly built, um, but one arm is basically like a like a magical cannon. Uh, it looks like almost like a Mega Man Buster, Mega Man, yeah. yeah, kind of thing. Um, and the other hand is just like a free hand. They are also draped in one of these camo homemade kind of camouflage cloaks. They've draped, covered themselves in like mud and twigs and things like that as well. Um, they look pretty beaten up, like they've got scratches and dents and cuts and all sorts of like damage on them. But they also look determined and very focused. This is clearly a trained military individual like and and you know century having brought a lot of these guardians to life you would know that hotshot is ex exactly that she was you know very much a, a an experienced soldier um behind them um behind hotshot you see wayfinder who you've already met you also see two smaller guardians uh one is a spindly looking creature with long trailing hair of leaves and vines and a singular eye uh the other is a cheerful looking little guardian with adjustable lenses over its eyes and an alchemical looking device for its hand um uh, and then behind them, two more. One is a uh, masculine uh, guardian, but is wearing actual clothing, like you know, humanoid clothing in dark colors. Uh, they look like a ninja um, oh. with, a, with a sword, a suitable sword as well. Um, and then the other one is a almost as big as Sentry, not quite as tall as Sentinel Prime, but like seven feet tall, like old Sentry maybe kind of size. Um, broad, muscular, um, not sure whether male or female, uh, gemstones built into their arms and parts of their body. Uh, their left side is fragmented and broken, like you can see almost like their entire left side looks like it's been hit with a chisel and cracks and fissures have spread all over it, but they have a long, almost like saber rapier in their hand. Um, cool. Uh, these are uh, Tinker, Helper, Shade, and Protector uh, are these guardian names. Okay. Um, uh, Hotshot will kind of approach and say, Guardians, I'm sorry, uh, we don't have a lot of time. Um, things are progressing quickly. Uh, have Gear Shift and Wayfinder told you about the Stalker? Uh, yes, uh, and I believe we may have been able to identify it to some degree. Um, That's something, at least. Uh, it's. I'm pretty sure it's following me and my, my team. Okay. Okay. We've got maybe an hour, maybe two, if Tinker's decoy worked. Uh, I need to get these guardians out of here. Like, they, we're not ready for this. The Grief Knights are beyond anything that we can take on. The undead are just limitless. Now you're here, I want to get them out. Can we evacuate them on the Storm Chaser? <sighs> We've, I don't think that there's any place apart from the outpost that you saw. It's being watched pretty heavily. There's no race, but I think that if we... I don't think that the great the Grief Knights care about them. I think they're after you, and I think we've been used as bait. I think if we push forward the mission, and I try and get you to Nightbloom Hold, that's where they'll focus their efforts. Uh, I think that Gearshift and the others can probably lead the injured out and can get them to Southern, get them out of the jungle at least, get them out of the valley. Um, and then at least that way, they'll be you know, we'll be able to make our way back to uh, one of the Jakesh cities. There's a couple of villages south of the south of the grove, out, uh, south of the valley. Uh, if they can get there, then then we can come and pick them up. You know, we can send an airship to come and get them. Uh, we we do have some ideas on how to heal them, but I don't know. Quill needs more time. I need a yeah, a bit more time. Unfortunately, uh... I hate to say it, but you succeeding in this mission is more important. The stalker is coming. We don't have time. Okay. <laughs> unless unless you want to try and fight this stalker here, but... We can't. We're not in a position to fight right now. We, we at least need to rest. lead them away we from have. the Guardians yes. whilst they make their escape. I'd suggest you get an hour. Like, take what rest you can. Uh, well, we just had two. Uh, that's true, actually, yeah. You guys can take a short rest. So if you guys want to take a short rest, you can do. Okay. Can you uh, use don't forget you can spend hour. hit dice. 
Yep, I'm going to spend some hit dice. Uh, yeah, you get your con mod for every... hit dice I have. Yeah, you don't forget you get your con mod for each hit dice yeah. you spend as well. Um, uh, cool, I'm just going to keep keep tapping. Mm. What's a 10d8 plus 20 of healing? <laughs> Roll it in D&D Beyond and find out. 72 healing, very nice. Um, uh, so yeah, while you guys are just doing like the numbers and stuff, um, Hotshot will kind of give you a little bit more information. Um, She'll sort of... Does it? Yeah, it does. It, it should rolls do. The, yeah, it, it rolls the dice for you and automatically adds it as well. Nice. So if you just click the short rest button and choose how oh, many really? dice. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Uh. Nice. And does it add your con mod for each of those as well? Yes, I think. it does, nice. yeah. Perfect. There you go. Makes it nice and easy. You never really do short rests. <laughs> no. no. Um, cool. Well, I'm at max, but yeah, my, my spell slots are... No. Are you can trips? Totally. Don't forget, cantrips scale with level, so they your cantrips do, cantrips do do decent damage still. Pretty powerful, do do. You said do do. Yep. Um, do. Let me know. Let me know when everyone's good on their short rest. Leave. I don't think <laughs> that <laughs> rolled for me. Oh well. Mine did. How did you make it? You just to take the short rest. Select how many dice. Well, they just no. did you got one hundred and four healing. Yeah, but I rolled d twelves. And my constitution roll? mod is five. Oh shit! Okay. Uh, I rolled ten, but I'm actually going to do some more. Yeah, than I mean, that. like you can you can choose however many you spend. Like if you roll a bunch and it's not enough, keep rolling. Yeah. You spend more. Well, I'm a, I'm a yeah. I'm, I'm a, doesn't I'm good. do it on the you website. Might mm. it, doesn't on the it does do it on the website. Okay. Huh. Anyway, I don't it know why. It doesn't roll for me. But how is everyone? How is everyone's health? Right. You might just have to do it manually, Kim. Are you at max? No. No. You spend all of them. I spent all of them. Really. I mean, I like, have when you've got like 221 hit points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of hit points to replenish. You wrote, you got like 150 from that heal, right? Got. 104. Yeah. 100. And, oh my god, you got tons. You're fine. <laughs> I got 188 hit points back. Hey, that's better than six. I wanted to hit 200. No, it's fine. <laughs> oh, that's, you're fine, is what I was saying rest. constantly. Mm -hmm. And we episode. don't want to add any more on, it's just done, right? Um, I mean, you can go. Yeah, you can keep spending them. And like a long rest, like, you, and also you had like two hours. Hotshot saying you've got another hour. You can in theory take another short rest and then spend more hit dice. But you and might as well just all spend it as part of the same one. Oh, it's just. Oh no, you don't. Got, I I just took a second short yeah, rest. It the rest of my. It doesn't yeah, mess just up. Just don't just don't hit long rest. That's all. It just means that yeah, like it's fine because now they've they've all been used yeah. and my thing says that. So it's all good. I'm alright now. Yeah. Um. Well, I guess yeah. If if so, we're still talking to Hotshot, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you know if um, if if they are arriving with a horde of undead? I have no, I have no idea, Champion. I'm sorry. Uh, even I, I think it's following me and my team. Right. We went out to destroy. We've started calling them rot hearts. Uh, large growths of that plant matter. It's where we think that these skeletal creatures and their hive mind is concentrated. When you arrived. Uh, I hate to say this, but you holding off that horde, as difficult as it was, actually gave us the first opportunity we have to destroy one of them. Uh, and it was blocking the route to Nightbloom Hold. Uh, it grew, uh, after we discovered Nightbloom Hold, it grew in place, uh, almost like a, a defense to protect the path that leads to it. Oh, so not the things that we encountered, the big mass. The dead roots? No, no. The, okay. Those uh, the 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 rot hearts create those um, oh. and send them out to support the the undead. But uh, the the rot hearts are huge. They're almost like trees. They're they're not really creatures, but they seem to give life to these. Uh, they they enhance the hive mind of of undead nearby. But they also spawn more of them. They they summon more of them. The ones that you destroyed at that outpost, I won't be surprised if they've not been reclaimed to be made again uh, somewhere else. Okay. Um... And, and the, the decoy, um, do you have any idea, is there any way of seeing when it's been destroyed, or Tinker? is it just...? Uh, and this little sort of very gremlin-like, kind of long, kind of foliage hair with a single eye, kind of long limbs, just goes, ah, hey, uh, I am sorry, champion. Uh, it was a very rudimentary, primitive device I created um, in, in a rush. That's I okay. do not have a way of knowing if it has been activated. Okay, wonderful, thank you. Um, the, the, the stalker is cunning. Uh, I do not think it would have fooled it for long, but it was all I could think of to do. Uh, well, it's a good idea. 
Thank you, Sentinel Prime. It looks like, oh my god, Sentinel Prime's here. Like, <laughs> it's like a little bit of like, you can see like most of the Guardians are like definitely, Hotshot's the only one who doesn't seem to be phased and is almost just like, Commander, like, yeah, yeah we've got a job to do kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, Protector's a little bit like that as well. Um, and then Shade is just stoic, doesn't, doesn't really respond to anything. Um, Tell us what you need and we'll help you make way as soon as you can. I don't know about anything to help. I think that, I think we just have to trust that Gear Shift and the others, the remaining scouts, can get the injured our way from here. Um, if you know anything that can help with this disease, ways that they can not contract it, we're, we're not sure even how it spreads. If you know anything about that, if you figured anything out, let us know. Um, but otherwise, I think, I hate to leave them, but I, I, I just think that the priority right now needs to be getting you to this, this place. Whatever Kalara is doing, is creating all of this. And I think that these diseases may even be connected to her. Uh, if we can stop her, maybe that stops the diseases or the, this, this power that's infected this land. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I will retell, you know, the, the, I, that I believe it is an extreme version of Slimy Doom and yep. lesser restoration. Uh, yeah, they, things like that, which... they don't have anybody who can cast those spells anymore. Um, That's fine, but I mean, but if they, they know it... They also know that it, it's transferred by touch, so, like, the Guardians can prepare, like, almost, like, wooden sort of, like, uh, plinths to carry them on and stuff like that, so they're not touching them. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And, um, uh, yeah. But if, if they do get out of here, they can probably find... Like, if, if we can't do it, then they'll find yeah. someone who can cast it, I suppose. Hotshot will say, me and my specialist team will stay with you. We'll need, uh, we'll help you get to Nightbloom Hold, and, and if you need us to help take it, storm it, get inside, that's what we're here for. Uh, oh, my, we've got nothing in us, do we? You don't, do you have spells left? I, I, I mean, I do have some spells. I know you get your spells. Warlock, baby! Um, but Lucius, how are you looking? <laughs> well, I look fantastic. Of course. Oh, the spells? <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> Nothing. It may be that as we get closer to Nightbloom Hold, or if you can take out this Stalker, that would buy you time to take a... Uh, uh, to gather your energy, gather your strength, but... It may, or maybe if we can reach Nightbloom Hold, we may be able to put enough distance between us and it. Um, but it's going to take us about six hours to reach the Hold. Uh, and every hour that we travel through this jungle, we're going to need to be cautious. Uh, not just for the stalker, but for those undead creatures, the packs. They'll, they're everywhere. We need to move quietly. We need to move carefully. Uh, it's we not going to be easy. We should be camouflaged. We need to get some sticks and some, maybe some mud. Yeah, it take, uh, takes about an hour. We can show you what we've done. It helps a little, but it's not... It helps a little. Anything we can do to help to make this easier for everyone. Sure. Yeah, I can show you, like, uh, Wayfinder, show them show them what to do. Uh, and Wayfinder's like, yeah, yes, Commander. Um, and yeah, if you anybody who wants to spend an hour uh, can basically predator up. You can army <laughs> predator yep. and, like, smear yourself with mud yep. and, like, you know, make, like, you know, tear down pieces of these tents and use them for, like, camouflage cloaks and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. um, but it takes about an hour to make an impromptu camouflage cloak. I don't uh, suppose this is something that we could do while walking. We just, nope, like, are nope. grabbing pieces, nope. sticking it to ourselves. This is, like, a process of crafting a thing. Like, you're going to have to spend an hour to do it. Uh, uh, it will... The benefit will be that it will give you a plus four bonus to stealth checks. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take that. I, yeah. need, I need all the help I can get. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I will not do it. Yeah. I think... Um, I think I would like to um, work with Tinker a little mm -hmm. bit to um, figure out, like, the traps that they had placed um, around the camp and mm -hmm. see if there's anything that we could uh, produce more of, things that we could leave behind us in some attempt to... if something follows us or... Yeah, so Tinker will point out, this means that you won't be able to make a camouflage cloak. That's fine, I think, um, yeah. The traps that the Guardians have made here, again, very primitive rudimentary stuff. It is tripwires attached to bells. It is yeah. spiked uh, poles that have been implanted in, like, hastily dug pits and, like, hidden pit traps. Um, Tinker will say, uh, things like pit traps, we will not have time to dig a suitable pit trap, um, but the tripwires with alarms we could certainly take with us. Uh, I could... I could perhaps, I could perhaps jury rig some simple uh, ranged devices to fire a crossbow bolt or something like that, but it would be very limited. Um, and uh, 
the, the problem with traps, Champion, is that uh, they are highly dependent on how well hidden they are, uh, and to hide them very well takes time, uh, time we may not have. Uh, the longer we take to hide them, the more likely they are to succeed. Uh, the more quickly we produce them, uh, they're much more easy they are to spot and avoid, especially if the stalker is a cunning hunter. It is possible, but uh, it depends on how much time you wish to prepare. Um, I think... Ideally, we would prepare more uh, audible traps than than offensive ones. Um, Very well. Uh, we would be able to hear something in... I mean, the forest is relatively quiet, right? There's, there's no, like, bird sounds or animal noises. It is, like, literally wind occasionally knocking down tw trig, uh, twig, bl twig branches and things. Yeah. Um, however, I don't believe we need to hide every trap. I think any that we keep out in the open will make this stalker more wary of the ones that are hidden and will still slow them down, uh, make them more cautious. Um, and if they do happen to trigger any of the traps, then hopefully they'll be loud enough, uh, enough for us to hear them, um, or at least me to hear them. But I can spend an hour recovering what we have here uh, and uh, helping helping yourself uh, create some devices. Yeah, I, I, I'd like to yeah help uh, if it's like bottles and things, maybe oh, like... Guardians don't really drink, so they don't have uh, things like yeah. bottles and stuff like that. There's plates um, everywhere. Though. There's so <laughs> many plates. Yeah, it's just all warm plates, cold plates now. Um, um, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be more things like... Um, uh, yeah, it's going to be like what bells and stuff they had. They or even brought, like, 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 I don't know, getting like metal twigs and Pieces things. of metal and stuff, yeah, like it... it it's going to be pretty, prim, like pretty rudimentary. But yeah, yeah but make if something. someone steps on some twigs, sure. it will make a noise. Um, so at any point during your travel section, yep. uh, you can try. You can use your part of that travel to try and set up a trap. Um, and how much time you spend setting up that trap will determine the DC of how easy or difficult it is for the stalker to avoid or see. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I yeah I'd also right. uh, communicate this idea to. Sure. Ayla and uh, Nova as well of like. There's only going to be enough policy. traps for one person to have that as their action. I know, I, but it's more like sure. Ayla being the yeah, hunter yeah. tracker kind of thing would sure. probably be able to assist in some way uh, in doing that, and you'd probably be able to come up with some ingenious trap that. Uh, Geometry. I what? So, uh, <laughs> for for your benefit, when you guys leave here, when you are traveling through the jungle. The way that it's going to work, <laughs> geometry. Uh, what? So that's a Twitch clip. Um, <laughs> geometry. Uh, See, everyone's trapped. Everyone's like, what? When, Thank you for your insight. <laughs> when you guys are traveling, the way it's going to work is every hour, one person will need to be the pathfinder. And that's the person kind of leading the way, kind of helping avoid terrain and stuff like that. Um, Ayla will have advantage on it because you're outlander background. So you'll have advantage on it. This will be a survival check when you do it. Hotshot also and Wayfinder both can have advantage on it. The same person cannot do it uh, two rounds in a row. You have to alternate who's doing it. Okay. Um, other people can also do it. Um, the, uh, the rest of you can either choose to use your kind of like action, nice if you want to think of it as that, to either help um, the Pathfinder, so giving them advantage if they don't already have it. Uh, or you can do stuff like you're going to keep an eye out for like all these skeletal minions and like trying to keep an eye out for stuff, being wary of the stalker, um, doing anything else that you can think of, using a spell, doing any kind of stuff like that, you can use as part of your travel, an hour travel time, right? Um, anybody who does something that isn't purely focusing on moving quietly, so that's like, look, keeping an eye out, trying to do a set up traps. Uh, you will have a penalty to your stealth check. Um, and at the end of it, everybody's going to be making stealth checks. Yep. Um, um, I have advantage on stealth because of my little boots. Boots? Boots of elves and little booties. booties. Oh. Um, so this is probably a hangover from before I became an Echo Knight. Mm -hmm. But when I got like whatever shard of Tiangong mm -hmm. put on my equipment sheet, the, the weapon mm -hmm. can hear up to 60 feet and has dark vision. Yeah. So can I just use that on Tiangong to like listen and stuff? I mean, yeah. Cool. That's, that that's like no different thing? to the, like, you guys having vision. We, <laughs> no, but no, we have dark vision. Usually. So have Tiangong dark has vision. dark vision. Right. I don't. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, and that's the other thing is that there is supernatural gloom. Uh, it is going to be dark. Uh, yeah, anybody gosh. that doesn't have dark vision, you will be traveling in the darkness. Uh, dim light. Uh, those of you who even have dark vision, it still counts as dim light. Dim light is uh, disadvantage on perception checks. Um, 
Uh, oh. And if you don't have dark vision, you are blinded. Basically, you can't see anything. Sweet. You can't see any. Blind. Can Tiangong just lead me around? Um, yes, you can basically right, hold you know, Tiangong's hand and Tiangong can lead you around. Yes. Uh, but you know, for any of your abilities, you still count as being blinded. Okay. Um, but they can, it's enough that you can move around un, unhindered. Can Tiangong just take all my turns? Because I'm fucking useless. <laughs> With their one hit point, sure. Uh, when you just play as Tiangong and Nova is the uh, echo that you bring yeah, yeah. out. <laughs> Affirmative. Keelik, add Kalar. Okay, no, I hate it. The other thing I'll tell you, uh, the, Guardian, you the Guardian team, the, the kind of like specialist, the A team of Guardians, uh, they'll come with you. Uh, they all have abilities they can use in combat. Um, the way that they'll work is if you do get into a fight, rather than them me managing like seven Guardians or something, at the end of any of your turns, you can basically order a Guardian to use their special action move, Ooh. do something Ooh. cool, right? And they all have something cool that they can do. So Hotshot can basically do a cool attack or can provide Overwatch for somebody. Uh, Tinker can actually give you a little buff uh, by making a little device, and they've got a bunch of different ones. Helper can create, make uh, very simple potions that have unique effects. Um, Shade can either attempt to hide or can make a, uh, an attack, but if they are hidden, when they make an attack, it's more sneak damage. Attack. Yeah, it's basically a sneak, sneak attack, attack, and they get a better bonus to attack yeah. as well. So, like, they can use one action, one turn to hide, and then the next turn they could make a much better attack. Um, and then Protector basically has an ability where they can protect you. They'll follow you around and protect or you until like the end of your AC. turn. Yeah, kind of like add AC and saving throws, um, or they can just make a normal attack as well. But they're not super good combatant. Um, and then Wayfinder can actually give you benefits to things like stealth or uh, perception and survival checks, but only in combat. Like when you guys are doing your travel, he's focusing on the other guardians, basically. Um, all of the guardians you take with you will increase the survival DC of the Pathfinder. So the more people in your party, the harder it is to navigate through. Mm -hmm. um, but they don't need to make stealth checks themselves. Uh, it will only be your stealth checks that affect uh, the outcome of the travel. Cool. I have goggles of, of the night. That means that you have dark vision, I believe. <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. Problem solved. All uh, I got them from that. Very these blind. Just don't forget, dark vision. Even in it means you still have disadvantage on wisdom uh, perception checks. And so. you're blind as well. I'm right? also blind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Birdie and Sentry are blind. Well, I could use Tiangong as my guide and give one of you two the goggles. Is that a tune? I don't believe so, no, actually. No, they're just wondrous I mean, items. You bought a bunch of items bought, that didn't yeah. need attunements. It, yeah. it was from the centaur like guy. Goggles, Do they look like our oh, goggles? Like a little beak on it. I want that. It's got a. It's pre-beak. It's got a beak. It's pre -beak. Double beak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what about sentry with beak and our little owl eyes that though? Would really that would look really cool. But actually. you've got good perception, and we need that is need true. Perception. Good. Yeah. Good perception. <laughs> good. It's all right. Oh <laughs> like, it'll every do. Time you, yes. Every time you post the magic, it gets us by. You know. You do a shit roll. <laughs> <laughs> so don't. No, I'm just. I'm not boasting about it. It's not good. <laughs> it's phenomenal. Wow. <laughs> it does the job, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does the job. It, it is technically five points lower in dim light. But would, oh, uh, would, oh, that would still just turn it to dim light the, the yeah. goggles. Mm -hmm. well, well, do, do you have dark vision? You don't, don't have dark, dark vision. vision. Okay. I mean, I would... Because this doubles dark vision, apparently. So if I put them on Tiangong, Tiangong could see. 120 feet. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. So it has an effect. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I want them. But that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Tian Gong's just like. Boop, 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 boop. That's really cool. <laughs> like radar. <laughs> so while you have this fun discussion, so Quill is making like preparing, <laughs> like content. gathering supplies for traps. <laughs> He's going full Last of Us, making little alarms and little bombs and stuff. Kind of, yeah. Um, who is making a camouflage cloak? Because that's going to take Quill an hour. Uh, One camouflage, impromptu camouflage cloak. Sure, if there's nothing else to do, then I may as well make yeah, one. All right. Make well, one. you, I mean, you could, if you wanted to do anything else, like if you had like an idea of something you wanted to prep or do a cool thing, you could do that instead. Uh, How long the, does the, attunement take? An hour. Something? An hour, because I have that rod of stuff, uh, alertness, mm -hmm. which can see invisibility. It has to be planted in the ground. Or it has to be planted in the ground, so. Mm -hmm. It's like stationary, it's like, <laughs> I believe so. But also, the yeah, thing's not invisible. No, Just... it doesn't. While you hold the rod, you can cast this oh, okay. spell, see invisibility. It's the protective aura. It's the protective aura that has to be planted in the ground. That's I knew it had oh. something like that. How long does see invisibility last? Forever. While holding the rod, you have advantage on wisdom perception checks and rolls for initiative. Oh. That would be useful. Wow. Mm. Uh, while holding the rod, you can use an action to cast one of the following spells, detect uh, evil and good, detect magic, detect poison and disease, see invisibility. Uh, and and then the other effects are when you plant it in the ground. What are you getting rid of to to, to use that? It'd have to be the teleportation crown. 
That's all right. Or my gravity stone, but I love my gravity you stone. You do love to oscillate. Mm. <laughs> um, George. I mean, in terms of teleportation, <laughs> I've still got my book. Yeah, book. so I think uh, for the so... purpose of this, I'm going to swap out my teleportation crown. Okay. Put on... Does anybody want the goggles of night? Because I can have Tiangong. Gong. This boy! Okay, you can have right. my goggles of Make night. Make sure you add them in your inventory, because yeah. we're not they, tracking this stuff. What like, are they called? Goggles of night? Can we just put, like, mm. five capes on sentry and... Nope. <laughs> Yeah, I've already got you. Away. Away. <laughs> the capes do not stack. Damn it. Helios is just getting smothered. <laughs> it's like a coppery. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. God damn. Oh, the of uh, the so you are going to attune to the Rod of Alertness. Yes. Nova. Okay. I've taken off my... Yep. Can someone my please draw a quill okay. with those so, yeah, goggles? Because you'll have two The advantage peaks. on perception, no, you don't have dark vision, but Tiangong does. Oh, because you've now given up the goggles of night. You got two beats. He's got two beats. I got two beats. So for you as Nova, I'm blind. Yeah, and the rod doesn't help Tiangong. It's a separate creature. <laughs> but it can help me see invisibility though if I cast it. See invisibility <laughs> doesn't help you see night time. No, but it, it helps, helps you see, you see creatures. invisible creatures. Yeah. Keep in mind only magically <laughs> invisible creatures. Normal stealth it won't affect them. Why would you say that? I'm just saying. Why would you say magically? Yeah. Because that's what the spell does. Is it helps you see invisible creatures. Yeah, invisible they is might a stealth be thing. Um, right. But it just means that like your vision is still I'm blinded. Tian Gong's, yeah, Tian Gong's leading me around. Yeah, but this is the point. Your vision, <laughs> you are blinded yeah. outside of five yeah. feet. Yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah. So the advantage don't tether doesn't help. system. Yeah. A little rope. The little rope. Do you want? Yeah. Do you want to tether yourselves all together? Uh, Lucius is going to make that. Okay. And he will guide the people that can't see. Okay. And so you're be... going to tie yourself to Sentry and Nova? Well, it would just be a handhold rope that everyone can hold on to to know what that the they're attached. Do you, ha do you have a, fight, a, a rope? Do you have any rope? Um, I think I do. Yeah, can I will. borrow some rope, please? Because that's not going to take you an hour to make. What you've described you've there is... You've just described a rope. We're going to hold the rope. <laughs> <laughs> it takes Lucius an hour to think about oh, okay. it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you want to say that, that's fine. I've yeah. got it. A <laughs> rope. <laughs> That's my rope. Um, Aww. All right, perfect. References. All right. So we have camo cloak for Sentry and Ayla. Did you want to do anything else, or are you just going to make the cool I'm predator make cloak? A camo cloak. You're going to make not? an Arnie cloak. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. So Ayla goes full kind of like you know gorilla mode with like all the mud smeared over and like the the red hair hidden it's by. Not the first time. <laughs> She's almost looking like before. black hair, kind of like as you dye it like with the mud uh, cool. to hide it all. Any kind of bright colours, so like sentries. Your green tabard's actually fine, but all of like your polished metal and like the matrix have to be covered up. So it's almost more like a poncho for I imagine sentry, like this yeah. camo poncho. Nice. Um, as you kind of do that. Cool. All right. Cool. So uh, that's an hour. Do you guys? <laughs> do you guys want to spend any more time, or are you just like after that hour's finished, you're like, let's go? What's the point? How urgent yeah. hotshot is yeah. making the situation? I think situation. the quicker we can leave, yeah. I'd probably Better. quickly address the guardians before we go. Sure. Yeah. Um, I just want to say thank you everyone so much for getting us here and for rescuing us. We, our lives are in your debt. We wouldn't have survived that without all of you. We have to go, but I hope that you will find a place to heal and somewhere safe to rest very, very soon. And hopefully we'll meet each other again soon as well. Go quickly, go safely. The Matrix will be thinking of you. I will be thinking of you. Be careful. Okay. Can we make a perception, uh, persuasion with advantage for me, please, Sentry? Let's see how much of a... Nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> 18 on the second. I mean, Sentinel Prime, leader of the Guardians. Yes. Your mere presence and your words dispel the darkness and these doubts of these Guardians who look terrified. The fact that their commander is now leaving them and they're having to flee through these haunted undead filled woods to try and just escape but knowing that their sacrifice knowing that their reason to be here was worth something and that it is valued and respected by effectively a god to them uh, dispels that darkness and they stand up firmer they stand up straighter they nod gear shift gives you a firm sort of salute um, and you see like Hotshot turns to you and it's like kind of nods like, you know, in thanks of, of inspiring the team. Um, and you have a feeling that that has probably made a big difference in how successful these guys will be in escaping. Uh, I did have 
a note on what would happen if they oh, scoop rules. as they mo- travel. Like broken morale. Uh, yeah, and morale's pretty low. Oh, we also need to figure out who we're bringing with us, right? Yeah. Because, uh, I mean... The bringing... more people you bring, the difficult it is, but they Tinker, each have... Tinker, Shape, Protector, and Hotshot. Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy. What uh, a missed opportunity. So... Tinker's right here. No one else. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you want to take Hotshot, Tinker... The squad that came back. Oh, yeah, so you want to take the whole squad? Uh, do you want to take Wayfinder as well? He wasn't He wasn't with that squad, but he's one of the specialists, basically. Wayfinder is There's six good. specialists in total, I believe. God, they're all good. Mm. Um, yeah, it's going to make it harder. Going up, like, though. Yeah. Our DC goes Remember, above. we've got yeah. Sentry with disadvantage on stealth. Uh, I mean, I... We've got Sentry. We're going to tank it anyway. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> I mean, let's try and not take it. I she could go on her own and the DC would be super low. <laughs> specialist te- the specialist That's team, uh, obviously, if you encounter anything in the in the jungle as you're traveling, they'll be there to help you with that. If you help them all get to Nightbloom Hold, they will also be there to help you That's on your true. assault. On I, think, I think it is worthwhile, but but also... Let's leave risky, Wayfinder risky. with Wayfinder. the group. And that's the other the thing is like yeah. the if you send specialists with the team that's going back you improve the yeah. team oh let's do that then that's okay let's leave points. with wayfinder i'm wondering if the there was one that could create um potions helper. as well right helper. helper yes that's with us in the group already i'm just wondering if uh, helper should go with their potions aren't healing potions Okay. Yeah. Their potions are. Uh, well, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you what happens going to. Uh, helpers' potions. I will tell you what they do. Uh, I'm going to find my little section on them. Um, helper can dispense. Basically, the way it works is uh, each uh, each long rest or like uh, no each short rest. I think I'll make this. Um, helper can dispense uh, six potions in total. Uh-huh. Um, and there's a choice of three different ones. It has to be given to a, somebody within five feet of him. Like, he has to make it and give it to you it by hand. Okay. Um, the elixirs are either one that grants you 15 temporary hit points that just last until they're used or, or replaced, um, uh, one that gives you advantage on con and deck saving throws until the end of your next turn, or the last one is it reduces piercing and slashing damage by 10, but reduces your speed by 20 feet, and that lasts until the end of your next turn. 20 feet, oh. Um, what's that, like stone form kind of thing? Yeah, it, 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 it's uh, help a bit. Like, oh, no, it, it, it transforms your living path into metal. Uh, and sort of like, <laughs> yeah, it speaks like this. Right, helper. Okay. Metal Mario. Uh, he's actually very cheerful. Out of all the guardians, Helper just does not seem to be perturbed by the environment it seems to be in. Mm. It's fascinating. Oh, his little, he has like these little sort of adjustable lenses, like oh. when he speaks. I want that. Amazing. Yeah, I think I think advantage on decks and decks and con saves. Con saves particularly for the ones transporting diseased. Uh, yeah, yeah. Guardians could be very useful for them, but I mean, mm. that would be my nomination if we were to like I think limit we the group. Maybe send yeah. helper with um, them. instead of Wayfinder. No, both helper and Wayfinder, maybe. It sounds like Tom's saying other. No, things, no, no. So I, I and, and and Wayfinder. Wayfinder yeah, okay. uh, just to limit the group even further down. So we've but... got Tinker, Shade, Protector, and Hotshot. Yeah, yeah, and, us. That and then that'll give them yeah. better odds. So we'll, we'll take well. four with us mm. and leave two with them. Yeah. Tinker, Shade, Protector. Hot shot. I, yeah, I just think they would be better suited to, yeah, to navigating right. and defending the... Sure. And also giving them temporary hit points if they get into combat yeah, as well. Yes, it's yeah. really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. And it's about sort of, uh, yeah, there'll be 20 regular kind of soldiers plus gear shift plus vines and then plus the two you're sending with them. Um, so. Okay. Right. Cool. Yeah. Oh, and with, yeah, with vines helping them as well. Yes. All right. That'd be good. So... That speech by Sentry maybe takes, you know, probably, what, like five minutes or something kind of thing? Okay. Um, And you guys head out. Is that the case? Yes, I think so. Okay. Nine of us, then. I'll make a couple little notes here on some things (laughs) for myself. What is Tinker's abilities? Um, You don't know yet, but he can make little devices. devices. Uh, I will tell you that Tinker can uh, grant... So this is on your turn, basically, you at the end of one of your turns, you can instruct a Guardian to do something for you, um, or move, or do whatever. Um, Tinker can, uh, an ally within five feet, or a PC, so one of your characters within five feet, can either grant you advantage on a single ability check uh, that you make um, before okay. the end of your next turn. Um, add 1d8 of fire, cold, acid, or lightning damage to the next weapon attack you make, uh, or replicate any first or second level spell that is not a healing spell. Wow. Any? Cool. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you needed a fog cloud or if you needed, uh, you know, something else. 
Okay, that's very cool. In fact, I'd probably say first level spell, not second level spell. Any first There's level a lot spell. of sec powerful second level spells. I just also thought of a couple where I'm like, nope, not gonna. Well, the that. ranger one. Yep. <laughs> yep. No, get rid of that. Well, uh, so any that. first level spell uh, that isn't a healing spell. <laughs> just give that to everybody. Well, we've won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but they basically replicate that, and then you would have the ability to use that effect, right? So if like one of you wanted expeditious retreat, they make you like a little device, and then you can activate that to get an expeditious retreat. Cool. Um, and they can do that. Uh, Da, 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 da. They can do each of those effects twice before they have to regain their uses of them. Awesome. For the entire encounter. Uh, yes, they can. Yeah, twice for the entire encounter, and it's basically like after like an encounter, they'll get those abilities back. So like two elemental damages, two, two advantages, and then two and first two level spells. Yeah. First level spells. Okay. Cool. That's that's, that's pretty good. Still yeah. very good. Yeah. Considering we've got that's one of four helpers that we have. Yes. <laughs> Guardians. Um, okay, so Hotshot uh, will see off the troops and then you will all begin to make your journey. Uh, Hotshot will point in the, at least the initial direction, um, but for our first hour of travel, uh, I will need you two players. Uh, let me get my little rules up here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, da -da 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 -da. one player or an NPC must make a wisdom survival check to be the pathfinder and leave the group through the terrain. This is the first thing we do. Um, who would like to make that check? I can make it. Right. Survival. Yep, with advantage, Ayla, because you have the outlander background. You are used to navigating through these uh, dense terrains. Oh, hold God, I rolled shit and rolled oh, Can't see. Okay. Such a good idea. 14. Thank you. My highest. I rolled a six and a seven. 14 is not enough. No. Uh, oh, so what this shit. means is uh, everybody is going to have disadvantage on stealth checks. <laughs> oh, God. Double disadvantage. And it adds 30 minutes to your total travel time. Cool. <laughs> okay, that's all right. So are we doing stealth checks now? Uh, no, not just yet. No. Okay. Oh. Uh, good. So we'll save those. Uh, save so then. <laughs> as you guys... You badly again. Put the nope. dice away. As Ayla is leading you, and this is, you know, Ayla, you you know woods, you know terrain. There is something supernatural here. The woods, the jungle shifts, almost pulses and grows around you, throwing you off. Um, it's difficult to navigate here uh, and kind of leading ahead and kind of clearing the brush. Uh, it becomes very difficult to create easy pathways uh, because of this supernatural element. Whilst Ayla is leading you, what is everybody else doing? Um, if you do anything that is not focus on stealth, um, you have a penalty to your stealth checks. I'm focusing on stealth. Yeah. Okay. But I am. It's all individual, so like, Lucius is going to focus on making stealth checks. This rope situation is so genius. <laughs> that it requires no extra effort to hold the rope. It does not. No. <laughs> Holding onto a rope is no action. I will tell you that wow. much for free. Um, wow. If everyone could just do a little tug every now and again so I know you're there. Okay, okay. Great. Uh, I, I think I would, uh, yeah, begin kind of um, placing or identifying places to put um, some traps down. Um, Noisy things, broken twigs, leaves, cells. This is going to be, I think this would be another wisdom survival check to like plant a, a natural tra trap in the wilderness to kind of like alert you to danger. This is going to be a wisdom uh, survival check. Just and you now have dark vision, right? I so do, you're not yeah. blinded. I've got uh, 60 feet of dark vision. All right. So just uh, just not advantage or anything? Nope, just cool. normal, normal straight up roll. Uh, unnatural 20. Unnatural, so total of 20? Total 20. What's your survival? 12. What the fuck? Oh, why God, weren't what? you doing it? What, plus 12? Wait, is, is, is Mine's it? Mine's plus seven. Why were you not doing <laughs> Wait, seriously? Yeah. Oh, what? do I have the highest survival? Yeah. Well, yeah. Mine's I plus have, one. I'm minus I am, one. I am proficient in Mine's survival. plus two. He was a mess. He was training to be a messenger. He knows the I lands. I you were proficient in it. I am, but it's plus seven. Let's remember, he uses wisdom. wisdom. Otherwise. <laughs> 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 hey. You have advantage, though. He's like... I mean, yeah, but I, I rolled a six and a seven. Well, if I did it, I rolled a one, see? <laughs> so that would have been still higher than what you got. <laughs> yeah, okay. All righty. You can do that. <laughs> Last thing, uh, unless Nova, anything else? I'm focusing, focusing on being on stealth. stealthy. Focusing on being stealth um, or anything else just, you'd like to do? Can I do divine sense as we're going? You can. This will prevent oh, you from God. focusing on stealth. 
You're gonna be clunky. Mm. Or maybe I'll, maybe I'll just focus on stealth. I'll focus on stealth. Okay. <laughs> all right. In that case, I would like everybody to make a stealth check. You are all gonna be at disadvantage, but uh, Ayla, you have advantage, so it's just gonna become a flat roll. Those of you who have a camo cloak, you get a, I said, plus four, four. plus four bonus. Um, you get those. That's that's the modifier. Do you want me to keep the roll that I rolled a minute ago oh, before? Fair. No, I don't. You can reroll. Do I get double disadvantage? You can't get double disadvantage. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, Two okay. nat ones? I got oh, one nat one. Okay. I got 27. 27, even with this disadvantage. This is just filling really up. <laughs> oh, you just did a I just roll, did yeah. straight roll. Yeah, put that in there too. <laughs> That, that oh jail. my god, all of the dice, dice jail. are in the dice jail now. All of them. We need a bigger jail. I need more D20s. We need a bigger jail. Get a picture of this one. <laughs> I've been <laughs> cursed since I sat here. Yeah, Come it on. honestly Quill. is. So. Come on. Quill. So, I, I mean, I had a disadvantage, not a disadvantage, I had a negative because I wasn't focused on stealth, right? Uh, that's true, actually, yes. If you weren't focused on stealth, that negative is Incredible. a do, 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 minus three. I'm so happy. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> uh, Did well, anyone got, pass? I'm I got furious right now. Seven? One, I'm assuming? Or like uh, you know, a natural one? Yeah, four. four. Two. Two. I got a 10 plus four, 14. 14? Wow. I mean, it's what? not the worst. I got a 27! <laughs> <laughs> but I cool. would say that four of you have failed and yeah. one of you has succeeded. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, this so. sounds like a cliffhanger break section. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's gonna well, happen? So I we've been slowed down. My dice. We don't know where we are. 30 minutes slower on the journey. I'm and blind. We have just dunked that stealth check. Actually, I think you passed, right? Your stealth no. check. No? No. None of you passed. Only For, a -Lo Only passed. me. Only a okay. Oh, I mean, you had a very good roll, though, considering. Yeah, right. Tom did call it. But we had two nat ones. <laughs> It so called it or jinxed it. Mm. So, um, oh, is it break time? I think it is. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us for part what? one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank bit. you very much for joining us for part one. We'll see you in part two. Oh, my two. God. Well, well I see. Welcome back to part two. We find our party having tr attempting to travel through the jungle to reach Night Bloom Hold with a few Guardian Scouts in tow. Uh, the party, <laughs> unfortunately, have not managed to do so successfully. And as they are traveling, um, Ayla being momentarily lost by the confusing supernatural terrain uh, and the rest of her party making a lot of noise, uh, the <laughs> party are traveling through when they are ambushed. This is a pretty uh -huh. bad consequence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, maybe. Um, this is a surprise round. Oh, for them? <laughs> yeah. The whole thing. Yeah, yeah. For them or us? <laughs> Uh, for, for you, uh, as uh, none of you took, like were keeping watch or kind of like keeping an, an eye out for uh, you know any sort of like skeletal creatures around. Uh, oh, so they get around on us. No uh, trigger they, they, the Surprise round basically means you guys don't get to move or use reactions or take actions. Um, but these are the same skeletal minions you fought before. Um, Did trigger any of the uh, traps or? Uh, the traps, I mean, there's too many of them. Like, the kind of traps that you set before definitely aren't going to impede these things. These right. things are actually, we're ahead of you anyway. Like, you're oh, encountering a bunch, okay. like, in the woods. The traps are having an effect. You don't know what that effect is yet. Um, okay. On something. Um, but, <laughs> yes. Uh, so, <laughs> as you guys are traveling through, you hear the familiar sensation, uh, the familiar sound, and the rushing of trees and limbs as, from around you, Dozens of skeletal plant like creatures, the hive minions, do appear. And as this is a surprise round, they basically just all move, and that's their turn. Uh, I don't think we can fight these things. Also, oh. hive mind, it's just going to pull everything, everything yeah. around us in. You don't know that. Uh, well, true. It's a logical assumption. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, am I in Paris, France? No, oui. <laughs> oh, we. Oh, we, we. We are fucked. <laughs> yeah, we are fucked. Mad. 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 Why do we always do this? Why do we always laugh in the face of death? Because there's all the we can do that, we'll cry. 
I'll move them forward. forward. No, don't move them, Tom. You move sit down. Round sentry and shade here at the back. Now you do have the well, guardians you with not. you. You yeah, could not you do that. Do you don't that. have to do that. What do you mean? You, you don't have the surround. You go, bud. Thanks, bud. You don't need I liked your previous map, one, by please. the way, Mark, oh. with all the water. Mm. Water. That was nice. for the camp. Yeah, and the camp's gone now. The camp's gone. Sorry. <sighs> Sometimes you make a map and it doesn't get used. That's fine. Um, right. So that is the surprise round. Is basically the undead rush towards you. Can you guys all roll initiative now for me, please? Mm -hmm. Sweet me. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay. So let's start with Lucius. Eight. <laughs> Eight, uh, Quill. Twelve. Ayla. Nineteen. Sentry. Nine. Nine. Uh, Nova. Eleven. Wow. <laughs> so, well, remember, I will remind you of some of the mechanics on these these folks. So remember, they don't have an initiative. Uh, a pack will activate at the end of one of your turns, um, and you take damage based on the number of minions around you. So think about that. Uh, I'm not going to remind you of any other mechanics. That's on you guys to remember, but that's the one thing I'm going to mention on their initiative. Yep. Don't forget as well that you have the guardians. Um, at the end of your turn, you can instruct any of the four guardians with you to perform their action. You can also tell them where to move. Um, if you don't give them an action, all they basically do is take the dodge action, which means attacks against them have disadvantage. In this case, I'll have them take half damage from any minions. Um, okay. They are nowhere near as durable as you guys. Uh, they are seasoned warriors. Some of them have got a few more hit points, but generally these guys are pretty squishy. So, uh, and we're going to kick things off with Ayla. Ooh. Uh, at the start of your turn, uh, that would be so six of them within range. Uh, I'm actually going to go back down to what their original damage was, which was six. Uh, so that's going to be six times six is thirty-six. Reduced by AC. M reduced by your AC. Yes. What? Uh, this is a new thing I changed last week. So your AC is what? 20? 20. So you actually only take 16 points of slashing oh. damage. Which you then half again, no. right? No, because I'm not raging not yet. Not raging. Uh, I will rage now, though. Bonus action rage. Um, and then I will attempt to hit. Yes. Please. And you weren't here last week, but there is now no. a thing where if you hit them and damage them, you can kind of like knock damage through. I'm rolling like tra uh, 18 to hit. 18 hits these guys, yeah. I mean, these guys aren't um, too difficult to hit. So, 17 damage on that, right. plus two lightning damage. Okay, so one is destroyed. Uh, which one would you like, Ayla? One, it needs to be one within melee range, so you have three yeah, range. Yeah, uh, the one, whatever's closest to Quill, I guess. Uh, this one would yeah. be, it'll be one of one that's in front of you. So one is destroyed, and then the other one now takes three points of damage as carryover. Cool. Uh, next one is a brain. 20 to hit. Hits. <laughs> oh, it's the easiest math. I'm an the idiot. 8 plus 12. It was 5 plus 15. Oh, my. <laughs> so, so, my brain just melted there. That. Yeah, that's fine. Um, it's hot. Oh, I rolled a 10 on my dice, though. So, uh, oh. 23 on the hammer yeah, plus 5. So 28 okay. plus 3 from last time brings us to 31. Yeah. Uh, which is basically one is destroyed, another one is nearly destroyed. There's three health left. Yes, basically. Oh, uh, yeah, basically. Like, so you can only hit ones within melee range. Uh, so it's going to be. So, oh, oh, you want to get rid of all your minis? You got like, too many there. Yeah. Oh, shitty. Tell me, it's almost getting men. <laughs> That was last and week. Then and then the last one had, has three hit points left. Still um, within range, they, so... They dex. fail saving throws automatically. Okay, yeah, cool. so just so. full lightning. If you roll more than three damage, he's dead. <laughs> 16. Yeah, that, that damage won't unfortunately travel over, but uh -huh. that will finish off that last remaining one there. Sorry, 17. Yeah, unfortunately the lightning will not travel over. Um, okay. End of turn, Ayla. Would you like to issue a command to any of your four guards? Sorry, real quick. Yes. But some of them died within five feet of Aelon. That's very true. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> so. And uh, also one and in Nova front of well. Nova. Is Slap well, him. Yeah. Uh, one was in front of you, so. That was uh, no, no, he's behind you currently. I would disconnect Slap from him. the mob so it doesn't affect so, me. So, uh, what that means is Ayla uh, and Nova. Nova, can you make two con saves? Ayla, can you make three? Sorry. <laughs> I think you will be after this, mate. <laughs> I, I, I just, <laughs> no, it's, it's no, I, I, I appreciate it, Tom. I you know, know what, Tom? 
have inspiration. I already got inspiration. No. <laughs> 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 I already have inspiration. Can I've never used it. we have an inspiration for having to put up with no. it? No. My special boy. Can I? Can I like? Twenty seven. Twenty nine. Okay. Um, the DC is sixteen. If you fail one, tell yeah. Me. No, I'm. I pass off. I fail one. I got sixteen. You, you're familiar with this. You gain a stack of grief rot. To reduce What's your that? speed by five feet, oh. and you will take one poison damage at the start of your turn. It gets worse and worse. Yeah. The more of so these like... things. Every time they die. So as you kind of cleaved yeah. your hammer through them. As they die, they burst into this kind of necrotic mist, where before it was okay. flowers. It now becomes this kind of like necrotic aura of sadness and sorrow. And you managed to kind of shrug it off, but Nova unfortunately succumbs slightly to a stack of it. In the last fight, I had so many stacks of grief rot that I had zero grief. speed. Yeah. I, I couldn't move wow. at all. Yeah. So for the for the stats nerds, I rolled a 16 and a 5 plus 3. There we go. Uh, so, Ayla, at the end of your turn, would you like to issue a command to a guardian? Can I ask...? You can also ask what they do, because you don't even know what all of them can do yet. No, what can Hotshot do? Hotshot can... Do, 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 do. Blast them! Uh, yeah, basically, Hotshot can do two things. She can either make a single uh, ranged attack uh, with a plus 10 to hit, and it deals 1d10 plus 10 force damage. Nice. Or... Uh, she can also provide Overwatch three times. Overwatch will give you a uh, give one PC plus two AC against the next attack made against them, um, and also lets Hotshot take a uh, a shot at the attacker, but with disadvantage. So if you it's similar to XCOM, not as useful in this fight. Yeah, higher AC means we take less damage from the horde at the start of our turns. Mm -hmm. um, True. Okay. Um, can I just get her to take a shot at one of the? Uh, one of the, away the further away yeah. ones. Yep, Hotshot is in a perfect place. Uh, and also, because it's a ranged weapon, any over damage goes in a line with her. Yes. Uh, cool. So, that's uh, a 20 to hit, which means she's going to hit. And D10 plus 10 force damage for 13 points of damage. So the front one has taken 13. So be Useful. B. Um, and it is, uh, this isn't a particularly loud, it is a magical projectile, so it's kind of like a of boom, similar to an Eldritch Blast. Um, all right, uh, end of your turn. Yeah. All right, at the end of your turn, Ayla, one of the minion groups is going to activate. Activate. And <coughs> yeah. to surround you even more. Including poor Hotshot and Tinker. Uh, so, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Guardians, by the way, will take any damage at the end of the round. So yeah. if they are next to minions, they will just take all their damage at the end of the round. Keelik and Kalar. Hello. Hello. It's me. Yeah, boy. Uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so at the start of your turn, Quill, uh, I believe that you only have one, two, three, four within range of you currently. Can I make a disadvantage against one of those? You absolutely can. That will half one of the damages. So yeah. that will be uh, three times six, six, 12, 18, plus another three, 21 points of damage. Minus your AC. Uh, minus 14, so seven. Seven points of slashing damage. Not bad. So far. Uh, so far, yeah. Uh, uh, God, I do not have the spells for another encounter. No. Uh, cantrips. Always yeah, got cantrips. But Word of Radiance is powerful. However, it will stack me bad, baby. I will Sacred Flame. Um... I think I want to try and clear the group. Well, which way were we traveling? Uh, uh, let's say you're traveling uh, to the west east. west. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think from the audience's perspective, and it always throws me off. Left to right. Um, okay. I'll I will. I, I will say one other thing is like, if you just want to run off the map, these things are going to chase you. Yeah, but uh, they're not super fast. Yeah, that's, yes, they are. <laughs> well, I mean, I think we could we could outrun them. Mm, uh, if maybe we, not if we for, wanted to. We do not have for a long guardians. Yeah. Uh, but we would be loud. And also, yeah, we would. We detract more. We detract more. I will tell you uh, that if you either leave the map um, or if you basically want to try and run away, like these things will pursue you. Um, you have to either clear all of the current minions and then take an action to hide and successfully hide so that the ones who are kind of being alerted don't find you. Kind of think of this as like, you know, in Metal Gear or The Last of Us, like you alert the whole, you've got to go and find a safe space to hun hunker down. Um, or you can attempt to just outrun them, but doing so uh, will cost you basically levels of exhaustion to fully escape uh, the encounter. Okay, fine. I will use my channel divinity then. 
Okay. Uh, tur- uh, turn or destroy undead anything within 30 feet, which is everything. It destroys everything. Sweet. Nice. I, I don't want to... Uh, I. Everyone is saying, like, oh, Tom remembered it. I do know of it. I have so few t- charges of this thing. I don't want to use it all the time. You've already used one because it got sucked up by the dead root. But thinking if we dispatch all of them silently, mm-hmm. we can probably then hide. So, you see Quill touch it. Like, is this the book? What do you use as your holy symbol now? Uh, as a staff. Um, the I Spear think, of Oracles. The Spear of Oracles, uh, I think, in this instance, would be the channeling so is this uh, like you like lift it up and it bursts with like force or is this what does this look like uh is it's your i think because it's everything within 30 feet right yes that's everything yeah. it is everything yeah mm-hmm. um it is it is almost like start. you you describe while i remove like a wave of light bursts out oh yeah which seems to a wave of <laughs> radiance <laughs> bursts out loudly <laughs> nice. <No>! um <laughs> a thunderous clap uh, am I, is that accurate, Tom? Is what you've said true? No. Oh, okay. No. okay good uh, it's a line of radiance, circle uh, coming out from me. That initial circle doesn't do anything, but then when it's sucked in again, that's when it coats everything and almost like a vacuum of force. Yeah, it breaks. You see uh, bone and plant matter just break away as the holy power of Siaska and Hesper uh, disrupts whatever is holding these things together, uh, completely oh. breaking it. Yeah, and it makes an echoey noise across the entire jungle. Okay. Um, because there are no enemies, you all basically have an action. Uh, we'll just go round in, in turn. Um, but yeah, if you want to, imagine that you're moving in the forest, and this is you like, right, we're going to hide now so that we don't attract more of these things. Um, so you will need to make a successful stealth check against a DC. Um, if you don't want to make the stealth check, you can have another player make it for you as they basically try and hide you. <laughs> but you've only got five rounds to do this in, so... Can I enlist the help of Tinker? To do what? To create a spell for me. Yep. What spell? First that level spell. spell is Disguise Self. Okay. On me. Okay. And I'm going to fly. Okay. How? What's the skies? Tree bark. Like the trees. And mm-hmm. I'm going to just blend in with a tree and fly. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it works. It's gonna help you it's not gonna be immediately successful it's not like an auto success uh, because uh this guy's self you make your clothing armor weapons and other belongings of, on your person look different until the spell ends it just says different you can seem one foot shorter or taller you can appear thin fat or in between can't change your body type uh okay so yeah i'd say that it can color you like bar yeah, but like it's t- yeah like it's like a painted, magic camera like a wallpaper yeah and you're gonna just <laughs> fly up so you're casting fly as well that's my action is to cast fly on yourself yeah, and go and then go up into a, into a tree and basically like hug it. I'm a tree. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, you I can make uh, a stealth check with a plus ten bonus. All right. That's an at one. What? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> we are the cursed table. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Uh, so wait, what? With a plus ten, like we need another dice jail. Yeah, I mean, it's not an auto fail. It holds one. Yeah. You can have it if you it's want. It's only plus two, so it's three. It's a single. Plus it's 13. You, you've got way more. Yeah. We should just get a bin. Because you get a plus two. <laughs> so 13 total. Do what you did. All right. Last. So that's what Lucius is doing. Uh, Nova, sentry, before it comes around to Quill and... Uh, so we're hiding, Ella. right? I'm yeah. going to cast invisibility on myself. And... <laughs> sentry. Okay. Uh, that... <laughs> negates the need to hide. Invisibility will hide you from these things, even though they do kind of consent and things like that. Invisibility is enough that you can kind of oh, buy yourself a moment, right? That will hold it for one hour. Yes, that's basically going to be to escape this combat encounter. This one spell will work for that. All right, so we have Sentry um, and Nova are now completely invisible. They move. Sentry, you can still take an action. You are now hidden um, as long as you don't keep moving, like as long as you don't make too don't much noise. Don't around. move! Yeah. <laughs> But you can still take actions, like if you wanted to help somebody else or give somebody advantage or something like that, you absolutely can. Um, uh, the Guardians are all going to look after themselves. Like, the okay. Guardians have done this a lot, and they know how to hide and blend they're in. They're better than us. Yeah, they are, basically, at this. But if they get into a fight, they're definitely not. Um, when I flew upwards, mm-hmm. my cloak got caught in, like, a branch, and I'm just, like, covered in bark texture, <laughs> just, like, pulling on the cloak. <laughs> for God's sakes. Just making a noise. Just, just for, you know... That's all. Flavor. All right, well, I can, I can help free you. It's too high. 
Okay. <laughs> lovely, lovely bit of role play. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Anything you would like to do, Sentry, on your turn? Let's let's go to the person whose turn it is. <laughs> Rhiannon, what would you like to do? You can do nothing to help. Okay. What are you going to do? Point and laugh. But she's invisible, you could help so. Quill. You could help Ayla. <laughs> I don't. I have advantage, so you don't need to help. Can I help the bird? Throw the bird in a tree. Need, what do you need? Help? I can fly. Um, <laughs> I mean, flying isn't hiding. Like no, these okay, things can. Yeah. Like still see you if you're flying because uh, the tree line, the canopy is that same thickness, right? You can only go up about 20, 30 feet before the tree canopy is like really dense and thick. So I will hide behind Sentry, <laughs> who is invisible <laughs> and translucent. No. <laughs> right. okay. No, wait. Uh, okay. I mean, on my turn, I don't know what, if you want to do something to help. Yeah, I mean, in some Sentry's way. turn. I, mean, if I could try and help, try and. Cover you, yeah. Like try and cover you in leaves yeah. or something. Like it's basically given advantage. Hint, hint what? Little green leaves. You go feathers. giant and just shovel hand throw some dirt <laughs> on me. Yeah, some leaves. Just, just stomp you, you into the ground. <laughs> some vines and stuff. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. All right. So you give well, help action to a stealth check. Just slap <clears> me with some mud. Yeah. All right. Check. Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm so assuming you both want to make stealth checks. The way that yeah, I'm please. hiding is by flying above the tree line, I guess, if possible, and rely on my hearing to. Um, sure. I rolled a net. Yeah. You're, oh. you're definitely an I also have, predator. by the way, in my features, I have. I can attempt to hide even if I'm only lightly obscured. Mask of the Wild. Yes. So I should just. I just disappear. Yeah. <laughs> just I'm go on. Just fade. You are me. Arnold Schwarzenegger. You have, you have advantage. I have advantage. Yeah, yeah. Sentry was helping. That's the whole point. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 17. 17. Uh, okay. Um, Lucius, you are still very visible. Like, you are making noise. Like, you, I mean, it, it, it's enough that, like, the others could basically be like, Lucius, like, you need to hide. You seriously need to hide. You can hear the <laughs> sounds of more of these, like, creatures, like, <laughs> kind of pulling through. Like, I'm actually really short. <laughs> Charlotte. Help me! <laughs> Uh, nobody can like none of the other guns can fly. Like if that's if that's the reason that you failed your stealth is that you've been caught on a branch, <laughs> you've either got to help yourself get out of it or Quill's the only other one who can help you. Can and I, if like, Quill you move, you lose that stealth check. Can I Eldritch blast his cloak? Uh, you absolutely can. <laughs> You'll then not be invisible. Um, no, because no, because it, it's a cantrip, so it won't. Uh, and it, yes, it, it does. Won't, yep. it, it won't. Casting a spell or attacking anything will break invisibility. Then I'm not doing shit. There you go. <laughs> You're on your own. You can absolutely <laughs> cast Eldritch Blast, but you'll lose that invisibility. I'm doing shit. Sentry, don't you do a thing. The truth. Don't you do it. Right, make another still snake. Make another stealth check, but you don't have that plus ten bonus at the moment. I might give you a, a secret bonus. Twelve. Total. Plus ten. Plus ten. Twenty-two. No, no plus ten. Oh, no plus 12. ten. Twelve. Twelve. I'm still going to give you some bonus because the, the camo is still affecting you. Uh, it, you think that might be just enough. Like, you've lowered yourself down to this branch, which is maybe only like 10 feet off the ground, or like just 20 feet from off the, the ground. Cloak. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, or like wrapped around <laughs> the branch. Coat. Like, yeah. <laughs> just like, and you just go completely still. My like, arms are a like full branches. <laughs> yeah. Just hoping that these things are going. <laughs> After maybe about 10 seconds, Another sort of several packs of these minions begin sort of like kind of searching as if they're looking for something. But they pass through, and with your checks, you manage to avoid detection. Um, it does cost you about another 30 minutes of time waiting for them to pass, but you may resume travel uh, as that was that was the that was it. Just leave them hung up in the tree. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also just floating because I can't fly. Yeah, I'm just attached <laughs> to this branch. A little help, please. <laughs> I, I don't have the strength to like carry Lucius, do I? I could snag it and tell Sentry. I could, oh, I could get him down. I could just, just grab the tree. Just grab his legs and just pull and the cloak. Really hard. Hard. I could the... <laughs> yeah, ripped. <laughs> oh, it's you. like ripped right at the shoulders. Like there's nothing left of that cape. <laughs> It's just on the wall. Yeah, it's just like the bark all just like turns wrapped back up into it. it. Yeah, it turns back into the purple cloth. I thought no, he was wearing a camo one, wasn't he? Uh, no, no. It was a century made. Oh. I was disguised self as, as bark. bark. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, now like the 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 cape is uh, the cape is left in the tree, tattered, torn. One of the many sacrifices I'm sure we'll make today. <laughs> The stalker will probably use that. Now I feel bad. Ayla doesn't feel bad, but Kate doesn't. <laughs> Just to... Let's move on. 
shouldn't yeah. we take that with us? Because the stalker is probably going to use it as, I mean, our footprints. True. Hot, hot shot is like, 100%, we should, you can't leave that there. I'll, I'll fly off and... Fireball. Oh. <laughs> Oh, fire. Interesting. No. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <Can't trip. laughs> yeah. It's no, It's magic why? fire. Uh, it doesn't... However, it does... Firebolt does say it sets things on fire. Oh, for fuck! I had a meltdown no. last week about bonfire uh, and stuff the like that. The cloak ignites and begins burning away. The wooden branch that is attached to... I'm having to. a ritual right now. Sure. I mean, this is like six seconds. Uh, like, the, the, no. bra- the, the, Keep the, going, the, the cloak move, will burn move. away in a moment. Um, we, uh, Lucius, we need to go right now. Just yes, up, right. just made a light. <laughs> oh done. my god, okay, we're going. All right, okay. I'll gust it. Oh, for no, god. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! I'm just going to make a no. flaming cloak. I think that that counts uh, as a clue. So. All right, so you're going to no. resume your travel, yes? So, it's still somebody there. that is not Ayla will need to become the new Pathfinder as you make your way into the jungles. Quill! I'm laying traps and shit. Also, he's not very good at seeing right now. I've got dark vision. He's got dark vision. He's got, got my vision. goggles. Uh, Hotshot can also make it. She does have Some, any of the Guardians they can. They all have better Hotshot is, me. uh, so not all of the Guardians do. Uh, Hotshot does, but, um, and Hotshot has advantage, but. They have advantage as well. Hotshot won't be able to do it next time, next hour. God, we have lost so much time though. Like, hot shot. It must be right ma- are you hot making shot. a check, Quill? Or There's a flaming shot? cloak in a tree. Hot uh, shot. Hot shot is, because okay. I, again, I'm the only one that can do the trap stuff. And I, All right. It will work. It will help. Oh, it's, Trust it's, me. Luckily, they have advantage. Uh, hot shot will successfully put you on the right track this time. Okay. Uh, you do not lose any time. Um, your stealth checks are made as normal. You don't have disadvantage on them. Um, as we move through, can I have uh, everybody? Make either a wisdom, uh, perception, or survival check. Ooh. Everyone. Okay. Uh, don't forget if you have, uh, if you basically you are at disadvantage because of the darkness. Um, We're all at disadvantage. I believe so. None of you can. No advantage if it's a survival check. Uh, why would you have advantage? Because you gave me an advantage on survival check before. That, that's for the, the trailblazing, oh, but this okay. this is a separate thing. But um, survival checks you can make oh, without uh, disadvantage. Yeah. My rod gives me advantage. 25. Uh, that would counteract the disadvantage. So just a straight. straight. <laughs> but you don't have dark vision. No. So yeah. you actually can't make the check because you're blinded. Actually, no, you can, but yeah, just make it with disadvantage. Can Tiangong make the check? Yes, technically, yes. 20, so, 25. but just make a normal, just make a normal perception check for me. Or survival. 50. 25. 25, Quill. Uh, 15. 15. Four. Four. Six. Six. Trot. Trot's right in saying 26. <laughs> 26, okay. Um, all right. Quill. Yep. <clears throat> you have, there, there is, a, you have a, that, that hair on the back of your neck sensation. Something is uncomfortable. Like you feel you're being watched. Um, and it makes sense that the two elves who are perhaps most adapt, uh, adept at kind of navigating like um, in with dark vision and things, and especially for Ayla, um, but Lucius as well, technically. Uh, you got 25, right? 20, and you got yeah. 26. You both, as you are traveling, as you begin making your journey, before you make stealth checks and things like that, um, you know that that stalker is is now actively following you, actively tracking you. You know it's a medium creature, it's a humanoid uh, of some form. It could be undead, could be something else, but it is a medium-sized humanoid creature and it's tracking you. Um, it, to be able to gain on you so quickly it must be using both mundane and magical tracking as an experienced tracker, Ayla. Like, you know you're leaving like tracks and things like that that it's following, but also it might even have some supernatural awareness. Uh, it currently has six progress points. <laughs> you don't know how many is needed to meet, catch up with you, but uh, every time you fail stealth checks or do anything that would dramatically leave behind clues of your location, uh, it adds progress points. Could you just write a uh, flaming cloak there? I feel like, uh, how did I just just give points away <laughs> with just a Which, bit of And you flavor. didn't even know. You didn't even know about it. Here's your red pen. Um, yeah. Bad things. Uh, that is, both of you would kind of be able to like pick up on enough of that. And how you know that, I'm going to kind of leave to you guys. Like, you know, maybe this is a magical sensation for Lucius. Maybe this is Ayla's experience as a tracker. Like, you're thinking about what you would do and like, you know, oh God, the clues that we've left behind it. You know that this thing is pretty close at this point. Like. 
if you if you have a very similar travel journey that you had before, it's probably going to be able to find you. And if it finds you, it's going to ambush you. We need to move fast. So, some way, somehow, the stalker knows where we are. <laughs> oh, and is gaining. I don't. I'm not going to address this right now, but okay. We need to not mess up this time. We got to go. We've got to be on track, aware of your surroundings, mm -hmm. because they know where we are. So, before everybody makes stealth checks, is there anything anybody would like to do this round? How much time has elapsed for this? Is it? This is hour? part of the hour travel, yeah. So the so invisibility is gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone. Okay. Like anything like that, assume that for the encounter, once the encounter's over, it's basically going to be gone. Okay. Yeah. You're not going to have that for any future in engagements. Chris Trot, maybe it's you have a little look. Maybe Tinker, maybe it's worthwhile. Um, yes. For those that aren't very good at stealthing, making yes. something that would gain advantage. I, I can, yes, I can help you for, for this at least uh, temporary. Uh, I have uh, a few more uses of uh, that sort of thing. I think that might be worthwhile. As we're moving, yes, yes, yes. Uh, who, who, uh, who? How many do you? I, I could provide two, perhaps, uh, two, two individuals with assistance. Definitely sentry. Very well. And? Mm. So far, the, uh, the both the uh, uh, champion Quill and champion Nova have made considerable noise. Uh, as well as yourself, True. champion Lucius. Well, it's a toss-up. Sentry and someone. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely Sentry. It's down to fate. Whoever, Nova, Quill. Uh, d d d d what? No. Hi. Yeah. Sure. Me. Nova. All right. Okay. Uh, Tinker will both create some sort of device. Maybe it's kind of something muffling for Sentry's armor, like a temporary kind of solution, Sponge. or uh, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, yeah, like. But it will be like a kind of magically created thing that lasts for a little bit. London. Yeah, kind yeah, of like temporarily. Uh, you will both have advantage on stealth checks this time. Yeah, nice. Which will counteract your disadvantage. So you got a regular roll. Um, regular roll. Yep. Um, are or anybody else doing anything different? I'm Albert. starting to think stealth. that leaving traps behind is basically just leaving a trail. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on how successful they are. If they, if I will, t I will tell you this now that you're a bit more aware of some of the stalker's abilities based on Lucius and Ayla. If the trap is successful, it will remove progress points. If the trap Ooh. fails, it leaves a tra it leaves a clue. So oh. I could That's place a, gamble. a trap, reduce my stealth, potentially fail the stealth, and negate it completely. Potentially. I like those odds. Oh, well, of <laughs> sure. course, you fucking. I mean, do. I, I, yeah, I, uh, I do want to keep laying traps. And, sure. Um, so that'd be a survival check from Quill. Yeah, even if it's yeah, again, if it's as mundane as sticks. little alarms and stuff like yeah. that. If nothing else, it does like again, even just avoiding it costs the stalker time. Yeah. Uh, what, sorry, what was the roll? Survival. Survival. And it's opposed by the. Oh. Is that natural How many one? That's a net one. Today. What the fuck? Let's see what I'm in jail. There's a jail over here. Okay. Uh, 13 was the total roll, by the way. No. Oh, yeah, put it in jail. Going to jail. Yeah, put it in jail. That is a lot of nat right. ones. Still, so, yeah, 13. Quill attempts to construct like some tripwires and like uh, branches and things that will kind of alert or at least create the impression that maybe there are more dangerous trap has been left behind. That's uh, Everybody else. Tinker technically was the one who provided those benefits. So, Lucius, you, you can still do something else or you can focus on stealthing. Anything I've done so far has made it ten times worse. So you're just going to try and <laughs> focus, <laughs> on stealth. focus on stealth. Sure, okay. With a disadvantage. Uh, no, you, you'll have just a straight roll this time. But not yet. Don't roll it yet. We, I'm making sure there's nothing else anybody wants to do. Um, so I'm going round. Like, is yeah. drinking Everyone's a really potion keen. to make... Or no, no drinking a potion is fine. Yeah, drinking a potion is fine. You can drink a potion. Unless you really like It's not going to take an hour to drink a potion. Advantage. You already have advantage because of Tinker on the stealth. I'm going to use my Coral Song Trident to summon... Dolphins. <laughs> yeah, sure. A whale. Ooh. Uh, nothing. So stealth. Ste well, stealth I've got, focus. Because I've got advantage on stealth anyway because of the thingy that. Yeah, yeah but there's if you don't focus on if you do anything else you get a penalty not just. Oh, I'm focusing real hard. All right, so yeah, so <laughs> focusing on stealth, sentry. Kind of want a divine sense. Sure. I think I'm gonna do that. All right, so not focusing on stealth, but no. you do still keep the advantage. It just means that you get like a minus three penalty, basically. Well, knowing that it's close makes sense. Yeah. Divine sense. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look, eh? What's the range on it? 60 feet. 60 feet. I think if he's doing 60 feet. 
Worse, could have been yeah. Until the end of your turn, you know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet of you that's not behind total cover. Uh, all right, so you'd like to divine sense? Again, it's only an action. I'm not going to make this take the action the whole hour. Like you okay. could do this, sixty feet. Yeah, you'd see them if it was within sixty feet. Like, like you guys would probably see them, or like, mm -hmm. or it, or or they would have attacked you probably by yeah. now. Um, they're they're they are further away than that. Um, okay. But I won't say that that takes your whole turn. You can still focus on stealth thing. Do it's I more if you wanted to do something that like like laying traps or keeping watch for like oh in case that we get ambushed by skeletons again. Um, if you if you if you if you, if you keep watch and you succeed. You aren't surprised in that okay. first round of, uh, of an undead minion attack, mm -hmm. um, etc. Or if the or, or if maybe if the stalker gets you. Uh, all right. So stealth or anything else. Uh, Your trap stealth. Trapping. All right. In that case, I would like stealth checks from everybody. Stealth rolls from everybody. Uh, do I have? Yes. Uh, if you did not focus on stealth, <laughs> you have a minus three to your roll. Is it disadvantage? Or? I rolled a 19 uh, and an 18. No, uh, Hotshot like, passed it, okay. so it's normal roll, I believe. Unless you have disadvantage from any other source. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> what? I got a 19. 19? Oh. Nine. Nine? Is it minus three, yeah. Uh, it is, if you didn't, but you did focus, did on, focus stealth. on stealth. So, yeah, mm. it's just normal. Um, You've got cloak. Just trying yeah. to think. You don't have anything else, do you? You've got like no benefits or like. Uh, I've got plus two to stealth, That's and it. then I That's only rolled it. a ten. All right. And my twenty-two. Three. Twenty-two. So success, fail, success. Four. Total. Oh, Four total. Hell. Fail. <laughs> Century. Fourteen. Ah! I don't think that's enough, is it? No. Anybody want to use any reactional abilities for ability checks or anything? I don't have anything. I've anybody, got one. For anybody got anything me. that can boost your dice rolls uh, for a check? I've, I, I used my. Uh... You used driven to purpose, didn't you? Yeah, I used it last oh, week. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, uh... it's gone. Fuck. Yeah. Don't worry. Quill can do destroy undead. Again. It's not undead. No, it's the stalker. You know, the stalker's not undead. Ooh. So that was three fails. <laughs> well, if I'm correct. Anything. Yes. Yeah. All right. Three. Was it more? Uh, that was one was fail, three. two fail, yeah, yeah, three, three fail, fails. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Oh, Give for me fuck's sake. a minute. You rolled so well and you had oh, that bonus. Ah. But you didn't need that bonus at all. I enjoyed it though. Yeah. <laughs> Juto dice, y'all. Here we go again. <laughs> Just, yeah, reshape the environment real quick. We moved down like yeah. 20 feet. Fist full of undead again. Just drop one on our heads. This is absurd. I we're mean, literally I never gonna. There's the not a round that system. we're gonna succeed at this point. We succeeded I mean, the second you one. You could, dude. That no, was very close. I'll tell you that. that I mean, was, we haven't succeeded at any that. round. I thought we succeeded so. the second one. No, no, this is the second this one. This is the second <laughs> one. Oh, for... We could speed run this combat if you want, because I'm could going you? to do the undead thing. No, you, you can't speed run this combat. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, Tom B. Oh, how? What? How have we survived this long? <laughs> I know, right? We're this like, what, like like level 17? Like stealthing is absolutely your worst. And corridors. Yeah. At least and this doors. isn't a corridor. Like, I, we're dog shit. Do you want me to make it a corridor of trees? I could make it like a corridor of trees if you like. Uh, um, this is my campaign You know what? Ends. Just for yeah. fun, I'm actually going to make it a corridor right. of trees. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you. We enter the valley. It's like a corridor of oh, foliage. Oh, hell yeah. Um, man. <laughs> you having a good time, Tom? How many, how many hordes are there? Three different groups. Yep. Three different groups. Um, I also need another miniature. Oh, oh he's another, bringing another... a death fruit. Yeah. Fuck's sake. Um, if you can't find it, you can't use it. Yeah. That's right. That one's down here. I've got a whole box of them. Three minute lock Loads. <laughs> Perfect. Great. If the, mini <laughs> if the mini doesn't show up in five minutes, uh, we're legally allowed to leave. Yeah. <laughs> it says in our contract. <laughs> if the mini's not here in 30 minutes or less, the next one's free. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I've also technically got to make another encounter. Uh, yeah. if, you, if you can't make one, the encounter, two, it doesn't exist. It doesn't happen, no. canonically. No. How are we all feeling right now? Feeling real bored of Pop skeletons well. right now. Off, yeah. I'm ready to go. Because <clears throat> they're a pain in the fucking ass. No, they're Why easy. are there so many? They're easy. We got it. We got this. No, it's we more got this. It's fine. It's just. Yeah, but the stock but, is catching uh, so up with us now. How far into our journey yeah, are we now? Not far. Two I think fucking hours. Two hours. Two, two hours. Six. 
three hours in, no, right? Because we two. hid for half an no. hour. We were delayed by half you are, an hour. Yeah, you have We've spent delayed. three hours, but you've made yeah. two hours of progress. Oh, fuck. So, <laughs> Lucius, that? initiative. Oh, oh There is going to be a surprise round. Um, Five. A third of the way. Oh, oh come on! Your dice Fuck rolls today, three. guys. Oh, Wait, three. That Do you take dice in the day out, Jail? Well, um, <laughs> 12. <laughs> again. Hey, I've rolled so many 19. times. 19 again. Century. 18. 18 for Century. Nova. 19. Oh. Luckily, I roll with advantage, but one of them was a nat one. I think I know why we can't speedrun this combat. Yeah, do you think? <laughs> we suck. <laughs> no, I think... Uh, <laughs> Too many. Too many. Someone That's else might be dice. showing up at some point. That's all my dice. Yep. Our dice jail that overflow. That one's out. That's, That's a good one. Well. All right. Do bear in, do bear with me, friends. I I just have a lot to think about in this, oh, this uh, scenario. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Take all the time you need, friend. It's gonna be alright. Should we just use his tank? Love you. We TPK. What's the strat? I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna Swing. run around in circles. Just. <laughs> If you do that fast enough, you'll mm. be a shield for the rest of us. True. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, if you spin fast enough, you can use your heat lance thing. Yeah. And just carve a massive path through the entire. And Nova forest. can like inverse gravity for us, so we just float up. Mm. Why are we hiding when we could be we oscillating? Just be oscillating. We could be oscillating. Yeah. Mm. Just chill. How like violent is the oscillation, by the way? Is it gently. we are just sort it of spinning gently. in place? Oh, okay. So it's, it's not like we are. Yeah in a harsh no. orbit where we're just... No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it specifically says uh, oscillating gently. <laughs> it's like that ride you Oh, sorry, like oscillating slightly. Okay. <laughs> so, once again, as you are making your way through the jungle of Jakesh... Yep. Uh, I love it. The attempts to move as quietly as possible in this terrain, even with Hotshot kind of leading you down the right paths, uh, whilst Ayla um, and even Nova this time managed to kind of like blend in and, and keep themselves quiet, those of you who are just not experienced in this, you don't have the training or in Sentry's case, the bulk and the weight um, as the other Guardians have kind of had experience and months or weeks to practice, just little things, snapping of twigs here and there, catching yourself on branches to give it away, um, little pieces of noise, uh, kicking a stone by accident, you soon find yourself the upper head again. That similar sensation of these creatures all running in, um, and this time uh, something else also occurs. From it's difficult to tell where uh, a flash of metal. I need <clears throat> Nova, Quill, and poor little Tinker uh, to make. Dexterity saving throws. Oh god. Okay, dexterity. You'll get a plus three from me. Uh okay. Nice. Seventeen. Seventeen total? Yes. Twenty. Twenty total. Nova probably an element of, of so much experience in like your long combats and the, these adventures you've been on, you manage to throw yourself to the side with just enough agility as something whizzes past you. Quill and Helper, unfortunately, are not so fortunate uh, having not seeing it first. Something pierces through you, Quill, and as it does, you feel something fed through it, uh, and Helper has, the, uh, Tinker, sorry, has the same thing happen to them. You take... Um, I'm gonna have to roll this in D&D Beyond. Oh, God. Why? It's that many. Uh, Nova, I think you're gonna be taking half of this, even though you, unless you have a feature which allows you to uh, reduce it by, but I don't think you do. 61 poison Oh damage. my God! Woo! Oh, uh, poison. 30 points of poison damage to Nova. Your resistance bypasses, yeah. does not work. And you are now tethered, yourself and helper bound by a cord, a sinewed kind of string, like a like intestinal gut string, oh. uh, has passed through you and into helper. It's not mine, is it? Who is now dead. Oh! <laughs> 60 points of poison damage kills him outright. Uh, it just through his chest and his body slumps to the ground completely. Helper or Tinker? Gone. Because I thought uh, we, sent, we sent yeah, Helper Tinker, away. Yeah, sorry, Tinker. Tinker. I keep getting the two confused. So I'm now bound to this body. Yes. Um, we do not have the strength for this. spell, is it? Uh, 
th I mean, there was, I would say, Quill, with your passive perception, you're not going to know where it came from, but there was enough time for you to see an arrow, um, but it, it went off somewhere. Like, you don't know what, like, it just passed through both you and Helper. Um, either, I would say at best, it came from the uh, north, I'm trying to think from the audience's perspective, northeast, northeast to southwest, or vice versa, uh, one of those other way rounds. Um, okay. Unless it was like some magic curved attack that, you know, passed through and, and made through. But there is clearly like a line from you in that direction passing through, but you're not sure which way it came from. I think in the um, impact, I would have like, been spun <laughs> around as well. Yeah. Like, uh, I have no idea where this thing... That was the surprise round for that. So it's like I am there. not surprised, it's by the way. Are you, you cannot be surprised. Feral instinct. If I'm surprised that at the that beginning I of combat, yeah. right. I can act normally on my first turn if I enter a rage, so I would automatically Okay, anyway. in that case, this thing that the, the stalker would still go first, its initiative was a lot higher than yours, but so. you can act before these skeletons do, um, because you are not surprised. It's here. <laughs> <laughs> he just reacted in surprise, like, I think the stalker's here. <laughs> Was that confirmed? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I knew it. look at me. <laughs> Could have been anything. <laughs> so Ayla, you can actually act before these skeletons, so you you are not surprised. Um, stalker. Um, oh my god. Oh god. So I don't know where it is though. Can I? You can make a perception check. Yeah, uh, I would say you can do it as a bonus action to, I mean. Uh, I have to rage as my bonus action. But that's a reaction, isn't it? You do it basically bonus as you get. Quill. But is it a feral? <laughs> it could be a stalker. Uh, as long as you act, really? basically. As long as I rage as my first. Right there you action. go. In, in that case, yeah. So uh, you could use your action if you don't want to attack. You could use a you could use a perception check. Can I check can I do that? That's you absolutely can. More useful. Oh, I rolled shit though. So twelve. I rolled trash. Like you have no idea where that shot came from. The tree line in the <sighs> dim darkness, like trying to peer around, like. This thing could be anywhere. A hey, movement. Um, not for now. Okay. I don't think. Uh, no, I, I don't know what to do because okay. I'm just gonna get surrounded by people if I move. He's moving the horde. Oh, they, yeah. They're not on us yet, at least. These ones are. <coughs> Don't know about the other ones. They might get there. They might get there. Because in their know. surprise round, they won't. They're all charging in. Um, oh, that one's... Wait, what was the stealthy ninja guardian called? Shade. Shade. Mm -hmm. So Shade is in range of mm -hmm. them. Uh... They're all getting involved. I don't know what to do. We don't really have the strength for this right now. I'm stuck to a dead boy. <laughs> so, the first surprise round, that happens, a new initiative starts, uh, as that is how it's going to work. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he goes again. Oh, or she. Or she, don't know. Oh, yeah. Women can be assholes too. <laughs> Shot to the heart. The other thing I forgot to tell you, uh, Tom Haziel. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. You're fine for now. Um, from somewhere, uh, you guys can. No, I think that this. Uh, no, you can't do shit. Yeah, no, you, you, it's just gonna. Uh, three attacks. Uh, come flying out. Uh, it is going to be... Oh, cool, you're kind of attached to a dead man. Yeah. It would know who you are. Can oh, it knows... Can I protect Quill? You can. Yeah. Uh, do you need to be able to see the attack to protect them? Oh, good. Can you just, just confirm have a that look. for me? I'm going to roll it. Should be under features. your features and traits, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Protection. Avoiding a shield and creature, a creature you can see attacks a target other than you. You don't um, have time. I see him. My 
Tiangong is up, right? Because Tiangong was helping me go through the woods. The... It takes an hour to travel, so no. Well, actually, yeah, because they, dis- yeah, they don't disappear. So, yeah, you can then. have... Yeah, Tiangong could be In up. which case... Shadow Martyr! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, Shadow Martyr? Yeah, I will... Tiangong will throw themselves in front of Quo. All right. Uh, the AC of Tiangong is 20. 20. Uh, something hits uh, Tiangong, and Tiangong breaks apart and vanishes. Okay, that, could have been really that would have that would have hit me real bad. And I've checked, and it doesn't need. Uh, oh wait, no. An attack you can oh, see. Oh wait, I think we have At another creature you can. See. No, it says you can make your echo throw itself in front of attack directed at another creature that you can see. You can see Quill. So I can see Quill. Yeah, yep. that's all it so says. Right. And in that case, it works. Um, yep. So it's the difference between Century's one. Century has to be able to see the attack to protect but I have it. But to see Quill. Tiangong mm. can like yeah, you have to. And Tiangong just supernaturally is like there, and it mm. something hits. Um, because it did fit hit it though. However, the area around twenty foot around Quill. <laughs> 20 um, foot around me. Yep, yeah, so it's pretty much going to catch everyone. Uh, what's 20 um, foot around? The ground, the grass, the branches underneath your feet begin to sprout mushrooms and fungus Ooh. and mold. Um, uh, it is now difficult terrain. Oh, is this like a swarm range? And thing? then uh, Lucius Ooh, and cool. I like those. Nova. I don't like them. Lucius, 24 to hit. Yeah. And then Nova. 22 to hit. Yeah. All right. 20-foot radius around pretty much me is huge, by the way. It is. Get the ring! It's this. Oh. Got the entire circle? It's the entire circle. Yeah. It's pretty big. All right. Uh, that is going to be... Uh, it's going to be uh, 14 piercing damage to you both, and then six poison damage. And can you both make constitution saving throws, please? <laughs> Plus three. Twelve. Twelve. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Lucius, whatever is infested, and now I would say on these attacks, you actually, for the first time, as one embeds, it basically embeds itself into both of you. They are arrows uh, carved from black rotted wood. Uh, tipped with almost stone and metal arrowheads, a mixture, almost like collected from various ma- uh, matters. Um, they embed themselves into you, and then they just melt away. As soon as they hit you, they just yeah, I gotta grab dissolve, it and it just, just yeah, melts. Lit. And it becomes uh, this kind of viscous, grotesque, rotting fluid. You, Lucius, through perhaps your magical sort of constitution, you manage to shrug off whatever effect is, is that trying to... Bicep, I just pop just it pop out. It out. Um, however... Uh, for Nova Vija, you have a sword, you have armor. It does know a little bit about you. Um, as it strikes you, Nova, as the poison kind of infests your system, you, you blink and your your vision is becoming cloudy. You are blinded. Um, and you oh. have disadvantage on wisdom checks and wisdom saving throws. Blinded, as, as a disease, I, I believe you can be affected by disease. I know Sentry can't. Yeah, yeah, I've got um, no resistance. All right. so. Yeah, you feel like your eyes turn, and everyone else sees uh, Nova's eyes turn milky white. Um, Sweet. <clears throat> and then, very last thing, uh, as that infection seems to take hold of uh, Nova, um, Uh, I mean, Ayla, you're probably going to succeed on this, but there's almost like a gust of wind that seems to strike up and coalesce around Nova, and it blows towards Ayla. Can you make a con save as well for me, please, Ayla? You get the plus three. Uh, hang on. 18 plus 11. You are fine. Uh, that same Icarus substance, like you feel your eyes sort of begin to cloud and then you sort of slam the lightning kind of ruptures through your body, burning out the poison. The wind almost seemed to carry the disease into Ayla as it affected Nova. Oh my god. Ayla's turn. Oh crap. Okay. Uh, At the start of your turn, Ayla, you're only going to take six points of damage, which you will negate uh, entirely because of your AC, so... um, do I still have no idea where that's come from? That it is a it is a check to try and locate the creature, uh, to try and locate the source of it. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go forward to beside this tree and start hitting into this pack of undead. This one? Beside no, there. Yeah, like there-ish. 
And start. I will say, if you are here, uh, only one other skeleton will be in range for over damage. If you shift over one. I'll go there then. Yeah, then you can hit uh, multiple. Okay. Um, 18 plus 15 to hit. Ah, uh, yeah, that's going to definitely hit. So. 21 on the hammer, three lightning. So 24 minus 16 is 17, sorry, is seven left. Seven remaining, yeah. Yep. And then 16 plus 15 to hit. Yep. So 15 on the hammer and three lightning. So 18. Uh, so not enough to kill the next one, but it will kill one more. It's got like not a lot. five, six health left. Yep. 14, 14, 15, 16, lightning. Enough to wipe out that one just in the range of your aura. As the lightning spreads out, uh, smashing through uh, three of them at least with two of the hammer blows and the lightning blast finishing off the last one. Can I take some, try and take cover beside that tree that's beside This one? Yep. Yeah, you absolutely can. Uh, the trees, by the way, so if you want to, with the trees, um, you could you basically pick a direction and you can have total cover. Um, otherwise, the tree's only going to give you about half cover as you're trying to move around it. But if you basically put, put yourself completely flat up against something, then you'll basically be completely covered. So is there a direction that you're particularly trying to avoid? That direction-ish? So north, uh, north east. Like east. Ish, yeah. Sure, OK. Hopefully he's not to the southwest. Trying to judge the way that things hit Quill, yeah. I guess, and, and I think those guys, that's for all. Simplicity after the end of your turn. You can also issue an order to a guardian if you'd like, but these guys are gonna uh, act afterwards. No, I just want them to dodge. Yep, yeah, they, they can just take the dodge action. All right, Nova Vija. Um Hello. Hello. I'm gonna take a risk with something. Okay. I like risks. Okay. This is gonna be a risk because this could just be the wrong one. I would like to use my rod of alertness to ca cast Detect Poison and Disease. Okay. And Detect Poison and Disease. Do, 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 Read it out for the class. For the duration, you can sense the presence and location of poisons, poisonous creatures, and diseases within 30 feet of you. I'm interrupting this shit. <laughs> Read it properly. <laughs> Just it, so within, th within 30 feet, uh, there is... Uh, poisons, uh, poisonous creatures, and diseases within 30 foot. Yep, there's one called Quill and he's right next to you. <laughs> Poison. I'm not looking at him. I'm looking, I'm looking... Within 30 feet, That's you don't it. sense anything. Can I blunder a little bit? Ah. Uh, 30 feet? 30 feet's not that far. Um, but I thought like... It's pretty much like if this, the circle of the undead yeah, is basically Yeah, it's pretty much like feet. that. Really? Um, yeah. Well, it goes... It doesn't go beyond the trees. Like the tree, the it, first line yeah, of trees. First line yeah, of trees, like pretty that. much. So unless he's like here. Unless he's like in the front of the tree line, you're not gonna get her. Um, unless it. Can I blunder it. towards where I then. saw the shot come from? Just before then. you lost your vision? Yeah. I mean, it, it was, well, you would think, you don't know where the shot came from. The tether could have been either from the, the north, east or southwest, I think. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you can blunder towards one of those directions. Which one do you want to go? North, um, northeast. So if it came and hit, Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I was one of the people getting hit by it, would I have seen if I got hit last or first? Uh, by the, the tether? You don't, you don't know. Hmm. It was, it was like, super quick. It just, like, it ripped through three of you in an instant. Second question. And you am, dodged it anyway. Am so I you allowed, would have felt it. Am I allowed to be reminded about the rule on light with the packs? from last week's battle. I mean, what do you need a reminder for? Sounds like you know. Because there's another thing I can do. Okay. I mean, well, it sounds like you know what the ruling on light is with the pact. Why don't it, you tell us what you think? I think it attracts more. I mean, that sounds that sounds quite reasonable, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, Dad. <laughs> what does the class think? What does the class think? Do we think that that sounds right? I think that sounds right. Hmm. I mean, keep in mind, like, blundering forward, like you are blinded, it's very likely that, like, you might stumble into something or, like, deviate from the path. Which way were we travelling from when we came into the this? Same, let's go uh, west to west or whatever. Yeah, sure. The, whatever was the last time. We used to, we used to, it doesn't massively we used to. matter. Well, because it would be behind us. What do you mean? 
chasing us. Does it? it might Would it might be? Flank or a yeah. sculpt the head a bit. Yep. Through magical means. It, this man knows. It was tracking you. It doesn't mean it was necessarily behind okay. you. I'm going to try and yeah, blunder well, what I think anything. is sure. like towards the make northeastern. A, make an acrobatics check for me. Acrobatics. I'm holding a pile of dirt. You trouble there. <laughs> 19. 19. You managed to like, so how far? A pile of dirt with a twig in it. Um, <laughs> let's say as far as I can until I bump into that tree. Yep. <laughs> Basically bump into a tree. Yeah. Ow. Uh, and the range of it is poisonous creatures, diseases, feet. or thing of 30 feet. Poisons, poisonous creatures, and diseases within 30 feet of me. You don't sense anything. For fuck's sake. That was a waste of a time. Uh, bonus oh. action, I would like to manifest um, Tiangong next to me. Uh, at the end of Nova Vida's turn, I'm just going to nudge uh, the backpack. Uh, into the backpack. The backpack. <laughs> the backpack and crack. Backpack. And they're going to basically focus on trying to get many of them around mm. century. I'm going to shout back to everyone as well, like, I don't think there's anything this way. How loud? <laughs> yeah, how loud? And how much light are you emitting? I'm not emitting any light. <laughs> I would say that a shout, I mean, they're not that far away. You don't have to shout it. If you just say it, most of the party will hear it without attracting any things. But I don't think there's anything. If you do that, nobody hears you. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, any commands to the Guardians? I've got nothing. I've got problems of my own, mate. Sentry. Um... I'm going to bonus action call Starbreaker and then action Gibby. Oh, Gibby. Starbreaker, that's going to do it. <laughs> yep. It did go to go through a ton of them last time as well. <sighs> yeah, it's the trade off. Um, just, uh, just, just there make the noise it makes noise. when you summon it. Well, first of all, it's like, yeah, it's also... Starbreaker! Yeah. And it lights up in green light and everything else. There's music and everything. Yeah. Yeah. There's the theme, there's the theme music. I uh, wince right. like he's so doing the So, bonus section to summon Star, uh, Starbreaker? <laughs> yeah. All right. And then I'd like to enlarge as an action. All right. I'm if sad I... I still do not have a large century, but yes. If I do that, does that push back some of the hordes? Around sure. Mine. Yeah, let's so say it like does. Physical yes, barrier. So push me back, Almost. right? Ooh. No, Sentry would purposely not push. Full dice. I'm dead. Um, just a heads up. Detect poison and disease is concentration for up to ten minutes. So okay. if it does come within thirty oh, okay. feet of me, okay. I will start seeing it. Awesome. As long as you concentrate on it. Yeah, okay. uh, it's concentration. So. Mm -hmm. I'll roll through. Sentry. Um, I think that's me. Bonus action, action. I'm going to stay there and protect Quill and Lucius and, yeah, just hold that middle position. Alrighty. Uh, the other crew. Uh, at the start of your turn, Sentry, sorry, you would have taken one, two, three, four, five, six times six, 36, minus Tracy. 36 minus 20, 16. There you go. 16 slashing damage. Um, Quill. I'm going to use my... Turn on dead thing again. Uh, All right. Need to eliminate this horde and can you just identify. Like, <laughs> can you can you just do, just, just just put just them at the back edge away. and then you. I, don't I mean, know. Flick them off, it's pretty sorry. much. I don't know if I can get all of them. You can't get like obviously these ones back here. You probably get those. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can get all of these yeah. three. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you get, get everything but the, the pack that just yeah. arrived from Starbreaker. Yeah, the ones surrounding us. That's okay. Um, yeah, I just have to get rid of the horde, uh, and that is a full action to do. So, what would it be to uh, spot or try and identify where this guy is? Is that a full action? Bonus action. A bonus oh, action. Uh -huh. It's easier with a full action, but you can attempt a quick, quick kind of spot with a bonus action. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I want to. I want to spot this boy. Um, right. So, is that uh, just a perception? Perception check. Okay. You can see, right? You're not blinded or anything. You do have disadvantage because it is dark. Uh, Beyond 60 feet. Okay. Uh, the, the 19. No idea. <laughs> You're just looking around. It just, I mean, you, you saw in your vision how well camouflaged this thing was. Looking around with the black and white vision of dark vision as well. It's, it, it, yeah, like you just can't see. There's no movement. Okay. There's like nothing. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, I think I would... He's still tethered to his body. Oh, yeah. You are. Is there anything I can do about... 
What, what, uh, how does that actually affect me? Am I like... Right now, that doesn't seem to be doing anything, uh, except the fact that you would basically be dragging a creature so your movement's halved. Okay. Um, the tether itself, um, this kind of gut string, it does look like there's something unusual about it, um, but it looks like it could be damaged. It looks like it could be attacked uh, to break it. Does um, it stretch into the forest? Is it no, just it literally it? like attaches the like two creatures together. Bowler. Yeah. Bola. Bola. But like bola, through, bola, like bola. it's probably gone through like part of your like your side and then into uh, help the Tinker's body now. Great, cool. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's my that's my turn. Uh, action bonus action. I don't think I'll do any movement. Um, yeah. All right. That's me, Lucius. <laughs> Lucius is going to make a broken circle wall of ice. Um, surrounding basically the entire rear of us, but leaving a gap kind of in the direction of Nova and Ayla so they can get inside. This is to mitigate so... attacks from all other angles, basically. I am going to place these down because I have them and it's going to help me visualize. Ten, so... ten foot blah blahs, which is what they are. I don't know if I've got ten feet, ten of them, but I've got enough that I can. Really? So if I understand correctly, it'll basically look just an opening in the northeast. Yeah. We'll imagine that that's... It kind of closes in a bit. Nice. Oh, yeah. nice. Well, so I've only got six of them. Ayla's slightly out of it. I think if, if they are, like, in that corner, I think Ayla might slightly be out of it. Well, if Ayla gets shot, we'll know where it is. So, with uh, plunging your hands into the air or in some gesture, this colossal kind of wall of ice is about 10 feet high and certain feet thick, right? Indeed. All right, uh, cool. 10 feet. Yeah, and there's a couple more, but I just don't have enough of the uh, little blocks to put them down. Um, cool. Anything else, Lucius? Um, I'm just going to say to everyone, keep a lookout. I just got hit by something. I, I don't know where it's come from. Mm. Um, can I have quickened that spell with two sorcery points? Uh, you absolutely can, but can I also... Do, 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 do. Uh, so who... Quills, you've taken a turn, haven't you? Yes. Sentry took a turn, mm -hmm. I think. When you guys started your turn, that area of difficult terrain of all the... Fungus and mold and things like that begin spewing spores. Uh, all of you who can be, you are poisoned condition. <laughs> okay. Where is... Don't think you can be sentry. I think you're immune. Is that just not affecting out? you? Yeah, it, it won't okay. be affecting you. It's just out. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, you're just out of Ayla. Okay. So is so is Nova now. Um, I'm blind. Yeah. <laughs> you just okay. walked into a tree. <laughs> Bunk, ow. Okay. So it basically gives you disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks and stuff. And you are poisoned as long as you remain in that area. Okay. Right. That circle of ice is probably bigger, actually, if it was 10, 10 foot. Yeah, it's like three more. Yeah, I, I just don't have enough to, okay. to do it. I've it, said that It's three just times. closed in more. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, um, I've said it three times that I didn't have enough things. No, no, I know that. I'm just saying, like, I didn't know if it was going to be wider or... Oh, you mean further away from you guys? Uh, yeah. No, no, I want it... Just a, just small a smaller opening, gap, yeah. yeah. So that these guys. Can I, come I in. fit, and then like with a couple more distance that I, where you would have had, you'd have that basically, right? Um, we we know what it's there doing. It's it's it, you know it's it's a, a visual representation. Yes. Uh, I'm going to, with my action, yes, use my sword to try and cut the tendril between Tinker. And yeah, sure, go nice. for it. Uh, can you just make a attack roll then, please? Yeah, it's a magic sword. It's very. Magic. It's a long sword. I don't think so. Is it? Captain's command. That oh, is a long sword. Okay, so it's slashing damage. Five. <laughs> Plus, um, doesn't actually show. Probably because you should not set it up because you never use it. It'll be your strength plus your proficiency. Your proficiency is six, so it, we know that it's going to be a plus six minimum plus your strength. Yeah, my strength Plus it's like got a modifier. I will say that hits. Uh, roll damage. D8 plus your strength mod plus one, I think. Three, four, five, six. Six points of damage. You cut and like several of the strands snap and pop and things like that, but it's coiled around quite tightly and it's quite thick. Um, you've dealt damage to it, Doug did seem to cut through it, but not enough to fully sever it. Okay, cool. Right. Um, not too bad. That's it. End of turn. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Might encourage actually protector to protect Nova. Uh, he would have to move up next to her. He'd have to be next to her. But you can do that. You can tell him to go run up next to next to Nova. Yeah. All right. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Gets next to Nova. 
And Novi, you have plus... Uh, I think it's plus four to your AC and saving throws until the end of your next turn. Uh, as he will move up next to you. That's top of the round. Who's he going to shoot? <laughs> He's going to ricochet it all the way around the walls of the ice. He's going to hit yeah, everybody. Yeah. All dead. Curve it. Curve it. Like that film. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I think oh. that might tickle me a little bit, yes. Tickle? He's hitting Nova. Can I sense which turn? <laughs> it could still Depends be from, who's like, in front of the back. Mm. Or the side. Anywhere around here, you know? still. Yeah. Or that side. Well, Tiangon could tell me. They're my eyes. Well, Protector would... Oh. The Protector Breathe tries to and, like, yeah. just can't, like, the, the shot comes in. Yeah, it's um, 19 I'll, plus I'll four, give me some information. So. Give me a second. 21, 22, 23. Actually, that was 31 to hit, yeah. yeah. 31 to hit. Uh, seven points of piercing damage, 10 points of poison damage, which ignores any resistance. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't get... There we go. Okay. Um, and the area around Nova, again, that 20-foot, like, just begins to create fungus and mold. The area around the rest of you fades away, as if, like, okay. it suddenly decomposes. Um, so as... One area. And you do see, again, uh, coming from the direction you're travelling in, but further deep into the woods, like, really far back from the tree line, an arrow <laughs> flies out, <laughs> uh, strikes into you, and it creates this infectious zone around you and deals the damage. Um, there's going to be two more attacks. So he's off to the... So he's east. that way. He's northeast. Potentially. Oh, the direction Nova was traveling. Direct. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Direction way. Nova was going towards. Yeah. Yeah. corner. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's a natural twenty, I'm afraid, Nova. Oh. <laughs> wow. You're dead you hell. Wow. Yeah. Twenty-eight piercing plus um, twenty-three poison. I can't remember what I just said, but twenty-eight. 28. There we go. 51. Fifty-one. As it catches you, uh, and again, uh, some of it poison damage, uh, you are already diseased, so I can't. I'm pretty <laughs> gross, yeah. Um, and then Ayla, yeah. uh, you actually have, because you were using full cover against this, so an arrow just kind of uh, sails past you. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, some some other stuff. I but... think it's over there, guys. <laughs> that way. And she's surrounded by like mushrooms and <laughs> God. horrible stuff. Mm -hmm. Ayla. Oh, crap. Okay. Can I... Ooh, I better do my concentration. Oh. I will just... These guys run up to the ice wall, oh. and they start just wailing. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, we just see hands like, smashing against yeah. it. Uh, uh, we'll say that, like, after, like, two, three rounds, they'll probably destroy it, because I know the walls have hit points, and, like, I think by the time, like, it'll take about two... 30 three. hit points. Yeah, so I will say that, like, yeah, it takes, like, two rounds, because they're attacking different parts of it and stuff, but... With yeah. 51 points of damage... Yes. ...would 21 no. not... So Five. I can no longer detect... The concentration um, goes. You kind of <laughs> get caught, you know, probably along the throat as this infectious arrow <laughs> sails past, um, and you lose that sense of where it is. Ayla. Can I go 45 feet towards where that came from? Yeah. Make a perception check for me. Mm. Oh. 14. You basically get deep into the woods. I'm just going to move you here. We know that you're about Can 45 I into the tree line. Can I shelter myself at a tree again? Mm -hmm. Like, trying to, like, strategically mm -hmm. gain on this person and mm -hmm. find out where they are. Sure. And do I see anything? Well, your perception check, you did not see anything. You can make another one if you'd like to use your action or bonus action. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, you basically, like, you guys are at this point, like, desperately trying to find this thing. Same roll. Same fucking roll. Take a closer look at the tree you're hiding behind. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it is the tree! He is the tree! They are the tree. Yeah. No, um, okay, I guess I'm just going to take cover. Sure. Um, right. Pin yourself up against a tree like, trying to desperately see which way this direction is going yeah. on. You and Nova are, like, Nova's just on the edge of it, but you're now deeper in the tree line, like, actually quite far deep in, um, and this place is a whole tangled mess. Um, it's a whole thing. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Nova Vija. <laughs> I want to do something really stupid. That's oh, the perfect God. time for it. You tried to do something So I can't time. see right now, but Tiangong can see, right? Yes, technically. Ah. So I feel like Tiangong would be telling me what Ayla's doing and stuff like that, and yeah. yeah you share like a mental link. I want to cast... Because you can use your echo to see through Tiangong's yeah. eyes and stuff as well. I want to cast... Okay, here's my thought. Mm -hmm. It may not be a great thought. Mm -hmm. I want to cast Reverse Gravity where I think sure. that thing is, and it has a 50-foot radius. 50-foot radius? But I want Tiangong to guide me sure. like where yep. to point. I, and it like doesn't say fleet. I have to see it. It's just within range. A point within range. Yeah. yeah, and the range is 100 foot. Yeah. Do you want Tiangong to exclude Ayla? Yes. All right. Yeah, so not hit Ayla, but like a 50-foot radius where I think. Right. Where you Please. think? 50-foot radius. The pulse yeah. on the gemstone glows. <laughs> Ayla, you watch branches and things in front of you all lift into the air. You also see that five feet in front of you, dozens of caltrops. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, fly up okay. into the air. You don't see a creature, though. Oh. I should have just hit Ayla. I should have. I sent no, those two up what? the last time. No, I mean like no, I, I, not Ayla. Beside, they're not they're, beside me. It is not within a fifty-foot radius in front of you. Uh, but that's where like Nova and you thought that those attacks came from. Uh, either they've repositioned or they weren't actually there. I hate this thing so much. It's so annoying. Yeah. yeah, it's frustrating. That's my last three charges on the grabby blah. I love my grab. So, and I don't even right. have it right now. Um, bonus action. Mm -hmm. Can I? Oh, this thing, this um, point thing's gonna poison me, isn't it? Uh, you are currently poisoned because you started your turn there anyway. Can I ask Tiangong to move back thirty foot towards the gang mm -hmm. and bonus action teleport swap? Yep. So you're basically in the middle of the gang. Yeah. Yep. Leaving poor protector on his own. It's uh, fine. Bye. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. Done. That's Nova. Sentry. Um, I'm probably going to move um, 30 feet out towards the edge of the perimeter of the ice. So the, the entrance, by the way, is not here. It's okay. like actually here. So, so I'll move towards like, the edge of the perimeter. Basically be where Tiangon just came from. Yeah. I think I'm just going to keep an overwatch on that area there. Okay, so like um, here? Yeah, just to keep an eye out. Okay. For now. Do you, I mean, do you want to make a perception check? You might as well. Like, yeah. it's an action or bonus action to do. Uh, action, uh, you, uh, it's I'll a bit easier. I'm super gross. By Good the way. thing I have persistent Sorry? rage. I'm super gross. Super gross. It only ends if I wanted to. Yeah. You or Nova? Oh, 19. both of us. Okay. <laughs> Twelve. On perception. Oh wait, no, two. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. You're looking around. Can't, can't see it. God. I mean, it's incredibly well camouflaged. If it, if it is there. Very fire. I'll um, I'll bonus action. Uh, regain a level three I'm spell from the Pond of Divine Power. Quill. I'm going to pull the Wayfinder's Guide out. Yes. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And with four charges, I'm going to describe the creature, a wild elf covered you did in... see them. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. You're the only one who has seen them so far. Locate creature. All right, read the spell out. Let's find out what it does. I sense the direction uh, to the creature's location, as long as that creature is within, within a thousand feet. It's within a thousand feet. If the creature <laughs> is moving, I know the direction of its movement. Okay. Um, the spell can locate a spe specific creature known to me uh, or the nearest creature of a specific kind. I mean, I'm... I'd say you are familiar enough I'm with it. describing it, it yep, yep, more yep, yep. than just... Oh, well, and you have a name okay. for it, you call it the Stalker, but you also <laughs> you know that it's me. Hi. connected with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so long as you've seen the creature up close... Which uh, you have. Uh, if it's in a different form, such as Polymorph, the spell doesn't locate it. Okay. But you don't know the exact location, it just says the direction, or does it say you know, I know the direction to it? I sense the direction moving. to the creature's location, and I know the right. direction of its movement. I have All a right. GPS radar ping. So what I would say with that then is, and because we'll, this is all happening within six seconds, right? As Nova was conjuring the reverse gravity and as the arrows were flying towards it, remember all this stuff is kind of happening at once, not in a JP, JRPG sequence. As you cast a spell, you get this faint flicker of movement as it clearly ran uh, along, like uh, to the side. As it shot after after it shot Nova, it ran um, towards the 
west. Uh, yeah, it's northwest, kind of like along the tree line, so it went deep past within. Me. Uh, yes, it did. Yeah, that's why I had you make the perception check, and you didn't unfortunately spot mm. it. Uh, it ran past, and you now sense that it is somewhere within this direction. You know, it is in this direction over here. Yeah, I mean, I, I will yell to. Uh, I mean. I'm pretty far away now. You are very far away. But you guys know. You could. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I can't go ahead because there's a giant column of. And Nova also cannot gravity. see me, but I mean, <laughs> if. I'm next to you. Oh, you, you are? I yeah. teleported. But she is blinded. I mean, if Tiangong is looking this way, and yeah, I'm obviously going to. That way, this this direction. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> like, so I guess like my book radar, is, radar ping to the northwest. My basically. book is almost like a divining rod at this point. Mm -hmm. nice. um, divining. Divining. Isn't it divining? Divining. Mm. Um, can I cast? A, so that was an action, but using a charge on my book. Can spell I use a spell slot? You can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will. You didn't technically cast a spell. Uh, the wayfinder's code did. Maybe that's wrong, but that's how I'm going to rule it for now. Check okay. it later. Um, I will. Third mm. level healing word I don't Nova. Know. All right, divining. Ooh. So 3d8. I'm getting healed. Healing words, d4s. 3d4, sorry. That's right. Um, oh, four, one, six, 12. 12 healing. Uh, and also, uh, if the blindness thing is a spell. Does it specifically say a spell? It ends a spell? Because wasn't it a disease? It oh, disease. yeah, of course, oh, yeah. Uh, that's okay. It's Spellbreaker, right. so no. Yeah. no. So, unfortunately, the blindness remains. 12 healing. It's something. 12 healing. Thank you. All right. Um, and that's my turn. Okay. Uh, it's going to be Lucius. Uh, Lucius is the last in the, technically, in the initiative order. Um, don't forget you got the Guardians with you as well. Uh, Quill is still attached. Uh, I also just, you know, not that I'm implying it, but if you do want to try and, like, run away and, like, not in, because you can't find this thing, you can try that. It just costs you, basically, an exhaustion to flee the battle. Um, and uh, that will basically mean that it has to track you again, but obviously it might be easier now that it's found you once. But, Lucius. I'm going to use my Stormcaller's chain okay, to summon a big old cloud. Of the, the sky, not that you can really see it above the canopy of the, the dense foliage, but the sky fills with clouds. Radius. Okay. So it's, I'm going to cover it. And remember that the lightning strikes a five foot point though. Yeah, and everything around it. So what I'm gonna first do initially mm -hmm. is five foot strike the middle of this group. Yeah, I mean, it would kill, if you get five feet, that would hit three of them. Yeah. I'm just gonna destroy them. <laughs> they die. 3d10 <laughs> lightning. Yeah, um, it's a deck save. Okay. They fail it, because they're minions. Uh, yeah, I think you're gonna be hard pressed to fail that. To not roll 17. <laughs> lightning slams down, incinerating three of the minions. Uh, that's my action. Um, it's not thunder, so it technically doesn't make noise. <laughs> it's oh, just a bolt of lightning. It's just lightning, but... It no, doesn't say, I don't think. I don't think it says cool lightning that it creates thunder. No, it's it doesn't. Just bad weather, it's right? It's just, yeah, it's just lightning. So. Okay. If it's thunder, it'll use... And it's a flash of light, so it's not enough to draw attention. Didn't consider that, did you? <laughs> you didn't. But, hey, Chris Trot luck plays out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't right. much else I can do. Um, I'm gonna tuck in. To... You can always make, if you want to move up to the edge, you can make a perception check, because like Quill knows the direction, but he hasn't seen the thing. Yeah, I'll peek around where Sentry is yeah. and have a perception and get check. His head blown off. Maybe. <laughs> 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 Headshot. Perception check. And no, it's not gonna be nine plus. Very good at hiding. All right. 16. Can't see it. All right. I duck back into the circle of ice. Makes I sense. assume because I killed them, they didn't destroy the walls. Uh, they, yeah, the two of them, it's going to take them like four rounds. To yeah, take it's going to take them longer. It's going to take them a long time. And they're just like scrabbling at it. They're just like... Everyone stay within the walls. At least your backs won't get hit. You say that out loud? I say it to the people around me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <coughs> Interesting. I don't shout it, but... You say at the top of the round again. I say it. Oh. From Tinker's mouth, you hear a voice. Not Tinker's voice. Oh no. The mold and the fungus that spread from the disease as it was impaled by the sinew, as it was poisoned, uh, as, it, as the fungus has grown around it. <clears throat> I'm afraid that I must keep you here a little longer. Can't have you interfering with the lady's plans. As 
Three shots. I mean, I'm, they're going to hit the ice wall, and they basically shatter the back ice wall. Well, the back here, where these minions oh, are. Oh, those are. Yeah. Um, somewhere in the same region. Not exactly precise location, you don't know, but somewhere within that range. Don't go through that. It's very frigid air and will hurt you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> creepy mouth which isn't moving it's, it's like a guardian a so it's it's not even its mouth isn't moving but a voice is emanating from its body creepy I love um, it it's connected to Quill mm -hmm. still yep brilliant Ayla uh, we should probably yeah, call it it's five past uh, oh yeah oh, <laughs> oh. It's eight we don't go to nine <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, we still got an hour left? That's no. crazy. Oh, oh man. Uh, yeah, well, in that case, I think that at the top of that round, that's a good point to uh, to stop it. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, I had in my head that we stop at nine. Why? We've so never we've been six that. years. I know. <laughs> what is wrong with me today? Okay, so he's trying to delay us. He's trying to hold us Can in place. Yeah, he's we have to fight this guy, yeah. right? Yeah, we have to. Well, he's yeah. just going to follow us. They, yeah. well, I mean, one of those. Yeah. But if you can't if you can't find them, how are you going to fight them? That one, the blue one. I could we got a better idea at least now. Yeah. Uh, the voice was distorted, by the way. You couldn't tell. It, it, it wasn't Tinker's voice, but it was a distorted voice where you don't know the gender. Yeah. Okay. Three, four, five, six. Know. All right. No. Even though it's my voice, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, thank you very much, everybody. We will see you next time. Thanks for joining us. More high rollers very soon. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Bye.